We left off where you guys were standing outside the jail. People had assumed their positions, more or less. I was on the roof. Yeah, you were on the roof. You were on the roof, right? No, you were nope, down I went down. This so guy. you three are all down Actually, at the bottom? Actually, I take it back. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, it's sick thought. No, I'm standing it. next to him. <coughs> I want to say Temujin was dumb enough to stand on the ground with us. Yeah, yeah, yeah you want to see it close. You yeah. want to see him up close. And learn. you're up on the roof with mm-hmm. Mel, Larry, Mel, Val, Larry, and the other Larry. Mm-hmm. Those guys are on the roof. Uh, Mel and Val have um, small brazers that have fire in them, and they have cloth-wrapped arrows so they can shoot flaming mm-hmm. arrows. And Larry and the other Larry have magic. Mm-hmm. The Larrys are magical. And you guys are down there with Abder. Oh, yeah, I forgot to do the, the intro. Not oh, a big man. intro. Go for it. But we just met our goal of 600 followers. Woo, oh, woo. Nice. Thanks, goal guys. It's going to be 1,000. All That's because of goal. you. Like, I think we might have to do another giveaway. It's been a while, and at 1,000 followers, that'd be a good time. It'll be a bit. But once we get there, we should start thinking of giveaway ideas. <laughs> at 1,000 followers, I'll give away my technical mug. There you go. What? <laughs> Are you going to give that away? Don't give that away, dude. So, so Josh <laughs> is going to mouth that thing for six months. <laughs> I'm going to watch him do it. Then, if you're lucky enough, you get to have it. Oh, God. If you live in the States. <laughs> if you live in the U.S. Right. Because shipping is too expensive other places. Yeah, yeah. Or Agreed. if you don't want the mug and you win, you can just say so and we'll figure out something else. Like... I don't know. Some of your pre-chewed nicotine. <laughs> Is there <laughs> enough washes? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Would you use someone else's used mug? I mean, I do all the time. Yeah, it's like I buy I buy <laughs> mugs from like Goodwill and stuff. Or like I'm at work and there's like a bunch of coffee mugs. I'm like, I need coffee. Really? This one. And then I use True. the coffee mug that's there. Of other people's mugs. I'm not going to use it if someone else is like tongue fucking it first and they give it to me and be like, no, thank you. <laughs> but if it's washed, I'm oh, cool. Those are awful. <laughs> uh, well, <laughs> you kind of brought it up. <laughs> you brought up him tongue fucking that mug. <laughs> damn it. No, no. He brought it up. <laughs> Thanks, Brian. All right. Mm. <laughs> I want to play D and D now. <laughs> <laughs> that was it for my intros. Uh, thank you, everyone. Thank you for the six hundred follows. Uh, thank you, Omega and Darapo, for your follows. Is that six hundred one? No, we're at like six. Six hundred twenty seven. We hit it last game. Ninety nine more. We hit it last game at some point. Okay. All oh right. yeah, this is good. So here comes Devils. the ominous. Gotta go well trade. Well, the hungry have nothing. come to trade for Galther. Yes, the hungry have come to trade for Galther. Back to game. Back to game. And so there's two uh, shapes. The last thing that you guys saw before we cut was two shapes in the darkness that looked like trees. So they turned around, and started moving towards uh, the jail slash Abder's home. And uh, one of them had two heads. One of the heads is always like biting on the other head and tearing flesh free, and he's pushing it away. And it's eating the fl- flesh of his cheek as it continues to regrow on a fairly continual basis. <coughs> uh, the two shapes moved in. Uh, at this point, one of them is going to speak. Uh, it says, Galther, we have come for you. What language is he speaking? Mm. Are we understanding this? You will understand it. It's giant. So great. Yeah. So I'll just repeat it to, I'm assuming Temujin's on one side of me. Where are you? And then yeah. you're probably behind me cowering like an asshole. <laughs> wow. I'm definitely right by your side. Wow. <laughs> I'm joking, right? I've already Better shot shoot you in the back with yeah, an yeah, arrow. Yeah. <laughs> you're next. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Get it. Why, why are you just repeating what he says? Can you translate? Uh, Oh, yes. Uh, he <laughs> says that he's coming for Gothner now. Uh, okay, good. Stating the obvious. Cool. Okay. So they move in uh, around the building slowly. They don't seem to be like really working at being fast. 
just kind of ambling in. And at one point, Abder holds up his sword and he goes, All right, that's enough. Hold it right there. And they stop. And he's like, What do you have for trade? And uh, one of them reaches over to like a crude belt that he has around his waist and pulls a sack off and throws it down. And uh, in the sack, you see like hair. Right, like there's a person in the sack. Oh, did they? They probably took a pretty good fall, that Jesus. I mean, they're not <clears throat> conscious. They're not moving. How far away did they throw it from us? Uh, I'll say that they're about 40 feet away, 50 feet away, something in there. And they tossed it like five feet right next to them. Oh. I'm not walking. Mm -mm. <laughs> I'll do it. Okay. I look at Abner. Now I go up. Yeah, I'm walking up to it. Okay. I'm just, I'm going to pick up the body. All right. One of them is like, the one with uh, only a single head, he's like sniffing the air as you approach. And it kind of squats down and, and gets like really low for its stature and kind of looks you as close to in the eyes that it can get. And I'll, as I'm picking the body up, I'll look up at him and I'll say, there will be no fighting today, brother. And I'll... <laughs> it smiles extra wide and it says... Mayhap I'll be seeing you tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I won't say anything. <laughs> I won't say anything. <laughs> and I'll pick the body up and I'll bring it back to Abner. Okay. So he pulls back the cloth sack and, like, you almost drop the person in your hands. They're slight, by the way. They're not large. They're kind of smaller. And I look like like halfling gnome. It's a little half elven girl, and she's the girl from your vision, and like it totally fucks you up. And I, I'll just, uh, I guess I'll just probably pause for a second before I do anything else. Okay. I'll take it in, and then I'll go back. But I'm not gonna give it back to Abner. I'm gonna, I'm clutching onto it, and I'm, in fact, I. <clears throat> Probably walk past everybody, and I'm going to take it into Abner's house. Where Galther is? Oh, shit, no. I thought, <laughs> I imagine Galther behind us. No, I'm just going to go behind everybody now. Okay. So I'm not going to be in the front lines this one. Okay. We're, what front lines? We're not fighting? <laughs> oh, yes, we are. <laughs> <laughs> He's just waiting for the pineapple Matt to drop. Matt wants the pineapple, yeah. What if they say pineapple now? You got her in your arms. Hey, dude, you guys say pineapple in real life. It's, I'm going to take that for in-game, so watch out. <laughs> what if they say the P word? <laughs> oh, man. We can spell it. You won't even know. <clears throat> I feel like this one should be titled Don't Say the P Word. <laughs> <laughs> actually, so I'm, I'm behind everybody. I Actually, I sit down. Okay. And I'm, I'm just going to actually be coddling it. Right? Okay. Come on, do you think now's the time for that? I just look up. Abner looks back and he goes, what is it? Do you know if they're alive? I look up. Can I tell if it's alive or not? I mean, it's a she. If she's, oh yeah, I should probably say it. <laughs> yeah, right? Like, it's, it's a oh, what is it? <laughs> <laughs> Don't check. <laughs> he's, like, he's like, what do you got in the bag? I just, uh, it's a small child. Are they alive? Can I tell if she's alive? Uh, I mean, sure. Yeah, she's alive. You're oh. kind of checking to see if there's a pulse and stuff. Uh, the breathing's faint, and as you're looking for a pulse, you see a thing, like a knot, under her shoulder oh. next to her neck. Oh, no. Yes, but she is not well. What, what do you mean? She's infected. Infected with what? With one of them. One of them's growing inside her. This is something that we can fix. We can bring her back to the room where Temujin 
got rid of our plants. Cannot X. I was I was at least a day away. I think there's got to be faster things we could do. <coughs> X tried to heal us last time and it did not work. Yeah, but you got to carry for a day when she's already like that. You'd be better off cutting her out with an axe. I uh, would not recommend this. Uh, do you remember what happened to us? I point to my scar on my neck where you guys <laughs> blasted that thing out of me. I looked at Abder. Abder. Can anybody help her here? Do you have any surgeons? We don't have need of surgeons very often, but... Who is she? Well, someone of our caught in the, in the swamp. Maybe he's thinking, you know, eye for an eye kind of shit. He'll trade Galther for her. I don't rightly know. Is this an acceptable trade to you? Friend? Anything is an acceptable trade when you're looking at... We have few options. Hmm. How tall are the monsters out there? Uh, like the size of trees, you said? Yeah, they're like on the tall end of large. Like they're large creatures, but they're real fucking big. So like eight, nine feet then. I mean, is that what the upper limit of large oh, is? Large. Large. Probably like like sixteen, seventeen. Yeah, fifteen, twenty, somewhere in that They're reach. big. And they have reach. You can already tell their long arms are just fucking long. Maybe this is the only option. This is a recommended trade to me. A life for a life. All right, well, we'll let Galther go, provided you take him beyond the town uh, limits before you all do anything to him one way or the other, and you have to keep him from coming back here if you decide not to consume him. And Aghar nods. Aghar? Yeah. O G H A R. Aghar. That's the name of the one headed troll. It's the one that has okay. a single head. Did uh, they make formal introductions that they just missed? Or Aghar, the single headed troll? Well, uh, yeah, it just popped out at some point. Maybe I think Abner that said it. Abner said it, yeah. Abner. <laughs> you did it too. <laughs> I did do it. So Abner walks into the building. And they start to approach the backside, and you hear like a large ka-chunk, and the back half of the bottom of Galther's cell folds open and he falls into the swamp. <coughs> he immediately tries to go for <laughs> the humanoids that are. You said you'd be me last! <laughs> you said you'd be last! <laughs> uh, but the, the other, his. The other two trolls grab a hold of him, and there's like a quick scuffle where they try to restrain him, and it looks sort of iffy for a second. And during the scuffle, two more large tree shapes kind of come out of the mist, and there are two more trolls that come over and help restrain him. Oh, I feared something. Before leaving, Agar says, Galther was one of our strongest champions and warriors. We have traded something of equal value. And Abner nods his head, and then they move off into the mist. Which way equal do they value. move off into the mist? The way we're supposed to go tomorrow? Into the swamp, yeah. They move off into the swamp. Hmm. I do not know if you know test, but they are going to where we need to go. Well, yeah, they all live out there. Up there, is there a way you can guide us through the swamp and not encounter them? Well, we'll see, won't we? We put our trust into your skills as a reconnaissance. We gotta save this girl. Well, I mean, sure, but I don't know how. And. Didn't it seem a little bit strange that their great warrior it was an equal trade for uh, a half-dead little girl? Temujin, I've seen this girl before. Uh, Mother Nathy showed me in the vision when you poisoned me. She, sh she showed you this? 
This is what I saw. Abner's like, hold on there, friend. There's a lot going on here that you don't really understand. Uh, well, you can put me in that group, too. Who's... Wait, what? Look, look. Yes, look. I see the corpse. I kind of, like, start pointing to her neck, and it, it's in her neck, right? Yeah, it's like a knot where her neck and her shoulder right. meet. And I kind of, like, I push it. Do and a breath check. Is she breathing? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I didn't know the corpse. You're pushing the knot? Just, like, a tiny little it bit. It goes back. Right? Yeah. They used to not... Get it. Out. I mean, <coughs> if we got no option, we gotta get it out. Take out my hand axe. Oh, there, friend. Hold on a second. There's some things, like I said, that you don't rightly understand. Now, why don't you put her down for a second? We'll have us a little bit of a parlay. And I set her down gently in the swampy. Is it pee or what is it? I mean,. It's like gross and spongy, okay, but I'm not you can go down. into the building. He wa- he like motions you into his house. And he goes, Mel, Val, Larry, other Larry, thanks for all of your assistance. I'll come and get you before we leave. We'll have a little bit of a sit down. And then one of the Larrys looks like he doesn't really want to leave. You could just stay up on the roof. Abner kind of shoes him. What are you planning to do with the axe? What are you planning to do with the girl? He's like, out of that, why don't you set her down in that bed over there? So I, I'll go set her down, but I'll take a knee right by her. <coughs> Everybody, have a seat. He walks over to a cabinet, or his desk, and he pulls open a drawer and pulls out a bottle of whiskey. And he pulls out four cups. Oh, Should we get... Uh... The metal man for the roof. Does he drink? I figure I'll come down, but okay. <laughs> uh, you hear a good jumps off the yeah. roof. Yeah, <laughs> Bow. <laughs> so he pours. A substance. He pours. Uh, he says while he's chewing. <laughs> pours like a four finger glass for each of you guys. Oh, all right. Now you got some hospitality. Axe. That's a lander for me. Can you do something me? about this? Cure. She's got a plant being in her. Uh, now, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold your horses. We'll be able to bite it out in a minute. That's a joke. <laughs> you were mentioning earlier that some consider the plant folk kin. Is this similar to what you were mentioning? So, what you think of as infected, uh, we think of as gestation. If you understand what I'm saying. I looked at time Jen. That, you think she got fucked by it? No, I think that thing it's in like her pregnant. neck is going to come out as one of our children. Come out of her? Be birthed. And then what happens to her? Well. No. So you are part of a colony that... You all were born this way. Aye. And what happened to the host? How in the hell long has this been going on? And what did you mean by parlay? Do you want to take control of her life? We should have a little bit of talk about it. That's all. Because what I'm saying is, to save one, you have to kill the other. And either way... Something is going to die here today. Mm. This wasn't a gift. This was a blurst. Mm. I look at, when he says blurst, I look at Temujin again. Like <laughs> he's saying some <laughs> strange fucking words. <laughs> I think that's a uh, half of a blessing, half of a curse. <sighs> this yeah. thing inside of here is not well, alive we, already. It is. It is alive already. Of life. Mm. We're getting into... Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Come on. There's certainly <laughs> abortion territory right now. <laughs> Is it alive? No, it's not alive. It's just a right. colony of cells. <laughs> it's like clipping a fingernail. <laughs> oh, God. oh, yeah, we're we're in the weeds right now. <laughs> yeah, we are. I'm sorry, friend, but it is alive. If you were to pull it out of her now, it'd be a squealing little baby thing. It is infecting her against her will. Well, we ain't asked her yet. 
well. And if we ask her, and if it's against her will, what then? How are you going to ask her? She's already told me. I'm going to save her one way or another, Abder. Maybe not with the axe. Hang on, I think I got, a, I got an idea. Let's see. What is Do you Temujin? have an idea, or is this something that Temujin does? Yeah, no, I say that. <coughs> I'm gonna give it a go. <coughs> and so I'm going to walk over, kind of look at her, and then I'm going to cast Detect Thoughts. Ooh, okay. For duration, you can read the thoughts of certain creatures. You can cast this as a spell as your action on each turn until the spell ends. You can focus your mind on one creature you can see within 30 feet of you. Can't, can't you also talk telepathically to her? Mm-hmm. Nice. Yeah, so between the two, I'm going to... Maybe she can hear what saying. Okay, mm-hmm. she's, uh, she's sleeping. Yeah. Oh yeah, questions verbally directed at the target creature. Naturally, <coughs> the course of its thoughts. So this spell is particularly effective as a part of interrogation. Yep. Don't think about the purple elephant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so she's sleeping. She's having a dream. And in her dream, she's running through the swamp. And things are chasing her. And so I'll say... It's all right. You're going to be okay. You just need to talk. Follow my voice. And I'll say, I'll just say, go inside that shed over there. Okay. So she she runs to the left. Yeah. And then she runs into like a ramshackle, dilapidated building. It's like half submerged in the swamp. There's creepers all over it. It's a lot sturdier than you imagine. Don't you worry. She's huddling in the back corner there where there's a pool of water seeping through. What's your name, Lass? Right. Names. <laughs> <laughs> we should just start using all the people that follow. Just have their names as a list. Mm-hmm. Some Frosty Mouse. Yeah, I'll pass. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Frosty Mouse. Frosty. <laughs> Meyer Linda, Nailgrath. Who are you? Mm-hmm. Why can't I see you? Meyer Linda Nailgrath. The fuck? <laughs> I mean, that's what I got for half elf. <laughs> Chick. Just call her my. Yeah. And they say, I'm Temujin Padraxis Wee, and you're dreaming right now. Where am I? You're dreaming. You're safe on a couch. What happened? I remember the hungry. They were after us. Yeah, we just got you from them. So you seem to be in a bit rough shape, but... You fought the hungry? Well, we didn't have to. Took one look at me, (coughs) they turned tail and run. Why can't I wake up? Oh, we're getting there. You have experience with the hungry before. Hi. You know what they do to folk? They eat them. Well, sometimes. You know what they do to those that, <coughs> that aren't part of a three-course meal? Nay. Well, this ain't a conversation I was hoping to have with the she's, <laughs> she's pretty young. <laughs> They like to use people to make copies of themselves. How do they do that? Is it like birds and bees? Uh, a bit like birds and bees. But, you know, the plant version. So, <laughs> Pollen. Does it involve pollen? I'm afraid so. <laughs> you got some of that pollen. You breathed it in. And... Give it enough time... Given enough time, uh, a new one of the hungry will be born. Temujin, you, you are want... quiet over there. 
<laughs> He's just sitting there staring <laughs> at her. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I was like, wait, I have an idea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> thing is, we don't know what's... We've never seen the process come to fruition. Can't imagine it's a lot of fun. So you need to choose. Choose? If you want us to get rid of the pollen, we may be able to do it. It won't be pretty. It may hurt. Or you could just let the copy grow. Maybe the thing gets born. Will I die? I mean, we all die eventually. I don't want to die, Tillian. Praxis, we. She starts to cry. I don't know if you're going to die today. I don't know if I'm going to die today. But if we let it copy itself, it'll eat me. Well, if it copies itself, we'll handle that when it comes out. It won't be doing any first meal of its life on you, that's for certain. The hungry always eat. Yeah. Well, you've turned away bigger hungry than this. <coughs> I don't want to die, Temujin Pedraxis Wee, please. So and then I'll, I'll repeat that part out loud. Okay, so she just, you don't she want just to keeps die. saying it over and over again. You seem quite adamant that you don't want to die. She's not having a conversation with you anymore. Yeah. She's like, she's stuck on the fact that she doesn't want to die and well, that she's afraid of dying. You just, you just stay here in this shed. I'll come back and get you out. And you'll be just fine. And then I'll let my eyes open back up. Temujin, well, we gotta do something. <coughs> I'm just dead. <coughs> just spoke straight to her brain. What? And then I telepathically said, like this, you asshole. <laughs> you never noticed that before. Huh? Or you just keep forgetting. What are you doing? All right. Uh, yeah. Average so, like, well, if you want a girl, we probably have to conduct a little business. And I'd hate to, for y'all to be into me more than you already are, but right now... She belongs to me and mine, oh. and so we're going to have to trade. I'm done with the trades. No, you're not done with the trades. What do you want? Do you want a wand of detect magic? <laughs> he laughs. He's like, would you trade that for a life? I would trade much for a life. You got to think of it from his point of view. Would you be able to accept a wand of magic <coughs> in exchange for letting someone kill someone that you, you're under your protection? A child. A baby. This child. The elf. He. he I don't think you understand no. my point He's of one view, of them. friend. He's one of, one of the things that get burned from the neck. That's their child. You this, are one of these things that get born? When did this, this happen? Little, this little girl? Uh, oh, roughly 37 years ago. 37 years ago? This has been going on for that long? This has been going on for as long as that library has been in the swamp. We the were creatures here before you. that infected us were hostile. They wanted to eat us. They probably wanted to eat her or her kin. Well, I'm I'm doubtful that she has any kin anymore. And this is the type of protection you offer? If the embryo ends up in the dirt, it turns into one of them. He points off into the mist. He's like, if it ends up in the people, it turns into one of me. You understand how the hungry work now? They become mm -hmm. like what they eat. Now do you understand? No. <laughs> Is he always thick? I like to think of it as a language barrier. Son, <laughs> sit down, shut up, and mind your betters for a moment. 
The grown-ups are talking. <laughs> so he turns to you two. <laughs> <laughs> the grown-ups who are two feet tall. <coughs> Sometimes being grown has very little to do with how large you are, friend. I mean, for a planet, this guy sure knows what he's talking about. Do you agree with him that we should kill the little girl? No, <gasps> no. This this girl, first, she told me her name. Myerlinda. Myerlinda Nailgram. Nailgram. I can't say that last word. It's a hard one. You said her last name was Nailgram? Na- yeah. Meyer, yeah, you know the name. Uh, there are people on the east side of the swamp. Well, they were AP Pell. Well, I'm sure there's a large group of people over there that have a settlement uh, closer to where dry land happens. They've been at odds with the hungry for a long time. Are they at odds with you? Well, they would consider us hungry as well. Mm. Everything seems to be a matter of perspective these days. It does indeed. So look, what you have there is basically a child of mine gestating in that little girl. What and if have? you want to kill my child, then you're going to have to trade me. Everything's trade. Now, I will trade the life of something not yet born to better the lives of my kin here in this town. But it's going to have to be a hefty trade. <coughs> what if we could find a way to transplant? Let, let you, let, yeah, tra- transplant plant, the plant. Put it in a different host. Can that be done? As long as the host is an intelligent creature, or one of you offering. <laughs> <laughs> He's <laughs> <Is that> intelligent. <laughs> <laughs> um, what happens when one of your kind bursts one of your own? Oh, don't work that way. It won't take in us. Our bodies reject the specimen. How long would it take to just it? Hmm. Maybe a week. Maybe less, depending on how long it's been there. We're pretty quick. Um, and it always kills them when it comes out, or does it eat them from the inside out? Well, by the time that that thing hatches, there won't be much left of that poor little girl there. That's disappointing. Oh... Uh, What about the knowledge from the library? What if we share in that? Well, I figure that's just the price of me going along. Right, whatever there is in the library, I also will get to share. You're it. going to go the whole way? You're going to meet the oh. creature, the guardian? If we're, if we're sharing, sharing the rewards, then we're going to have to share in the payment along the way, too. That's what I give you the candle for. That wasn't... I am sharing the risk, and I, if I have to be honest with you folks, I don't expect that we're coming back. I'm gonna give care. Of, I'm gonna give the candle to Larry, or maybe the other Larry, so they can trade for supplies for the town. Because I figure this is a one-way trip. But to the best of my ability, I will try to get you there. If this is a one-way trip. Nobody else in the town knows about the girl? Friend, do you understand the meaning of the word integrity? I do. And killing a little girl is not integrity. Neither is allowing you to kill an unborn child because no one else knows about it. That'd be downright dastardly of me. I feel like you have impugned my honor, sir. Do you want to have a duel? I don't think that will be very fair of me. I don't know if you understand the word of honor. And I just throw my scimitar at him. 
you can have that for the girl. I definitely jump back when he throws it. <laughs> <He's gonna> like, <laughs> I don't, like, don't boomerang. I kind of just like <laughs> toss it to the ground. Uh, Wait, what is, what's that? Well, That's your big fancy. Fair enough, friend. Looks like I misjudged you. Takes a scimitar, puts it in his belt. Now we need to get the Churjan out of here. Do not know this word. Well, it's like a doctor, but not as fancy. Churjan? Chur Churjan? Mm hmm. That's Sarajan? Kind of like a gardener sure. for you folk. Ha ha. Oh. <laughs> you're so made. tall but you don't got no sense of humor it's amazing <laughs> <laughs> I just assumed all big folk were quite quick to jokes you know what they say about assumptions son make an ass out of you an option this is not what they say I, I must admit I have I have never seen or heard that one before Calls the By the way, what am I eating? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just picking you, something off yeah, of this table. <laughs> you don't really want to know. Tastes like pork, don't it? You have your trade. Or less. Now get your doctor. Larry, I know you're lurking out there. Go get the churgeon. Well, then we'll wait. We use detergent to clean our clothes. And after a little while, you see like a sort of portly, uh, skulleted, kind of older troll kind of waddle in with a bag. Abner, I heard you needed me. These folks tell you what it's about, Smokey. Well now, which one of you needs the cutting? Usually I don't cut in any pink folk. It's the little girl. Her name is Meyer Linda. I see, I see. She needs a little bit of the plan B. <laughs> <coughs> oh my god. No one? <laughs> and you say I crossed the line. Yeah, that's messed up. <laughs> like, well, what's. Oh, my, oh dear. Oh dear. You want me to remove it? That's the plan. Have they paid? Abner nods his head. Like, oh, well enough. Let me get my duels. He opens his bag and you see like a bunch of gnarly like saws and like crazy hooked blades. And it just looks like it was torture in there. You can, you can do what you like with it afterward. If it can be saved. That's not how this works. He pulls out what looks like like you know, a sheep's foot like saw blade that's the size of a man's forearm. Mm. Hold her down. She might get a bit wiggly. So I'm going to telepathically talk to her again. I'm going to say, We're going to save you now. Might want to bite down on something. I mean, unless you're still reading your thoughts, it's nope. over. Yeah. That's, that's all. <laughs> she is unconscious. Well, she might come around when we start chopping on her. Is there not anything you can do? Well, I'm about to do it, son. All I'm saying is, you best hold her. We don't use anesthetic around here. There's no drugs? We don't have much need of that. I put I put my big mitts over her shoulders and or her forehead and her shoulder. You pin her down? Yeah. Okay. Oh. I'll get ready with a cure wounds. It looks like I need to and gives the okay. All right. Oh, 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 oh. He starts like going for it. Is it just sawing into her shoulder? Yep. Yeah, you can see the thing wiggling around and stuff like that. It starts like this keening sort of screaming noise starts bubbling out of the wound in her neck as he's going to work sawing into the meat of her body. Do you got any of them spells prepared? Oh. To help her out. Oh. Wow! <laughs> that was horrible. You got any of the resurrection spells prepared? <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, I was ready with your runes, so... We're going to have to blow it, because he cuts into a major artery and it sprays all okay. over the place. Yep. You just oh. see him pop, pop, pop. <laughs> it does like not vertebrae artery. 
Abner's like, well, he's used to working on hardier individuals. Give him a little room. This is you the spend trade? A spell slot. Yep. Okay. So you keep her from dying. Mm-hmm. And she wakes up. <laughs> I grab whatever's to hold her down. <laughs> okay. He's like, best hold her. Hold her now, son. Keep her still. Keep her still. And he reaches into the wound and he's like grabbing on something and like hatch it and saw it. I did. Oh which is why God. he had to use the spell slot. You're going to have to roll to hold her down. This is strange. You an advantage with us. Oh right? my goodness. Watch out. We're Let's helping see. him, you right? You should use a different die for her. <laughs> <laughs> use that one for the troll. <laughs> We're helping this guy, right? <laughs> I mean, do you have athletics? No. Okay. Is this athletics? <laughs> yeah, it's athletics. If you don't have it, you can't give him the It's 20. Wow. Okay. So you do. You keep her down barely. Like, she tries to surge up. She's like... <gasps> She's like screaming super it's loud. Like Stabbing her heart <gasps> with adrenaline. <laughs> and, it's okay, little one. And then it's like she almost gets loose from you. Stay down. Be tough. And he's like, just a moment now, lass. What? I'm ready More? to get another cure wounds in case. Good call. All right, there we go. So he rips it free and it's like wiggling and screaming. It looks like. Um, Oh, you know Harry Potter? Those weird roots look like people. Mm, Mandrake? Yeah, yeah. yeah, it looks kind of like one of those things. It's like a root, but it's kind of in the shape of a fetus, and it's got these weird tentacles coming out from it that are whipping and lashing near wildly, and it's screaming, mm. and then it dies. And he throws it down on the table. She passes out. You're going to have to heal her again if you want her to live. Yep. I got it. Okay. <sighs> so she finally starts to sleep, and... Uh, Axe heals her, and her neck starts to close up a little bit. The Trojan looks at you. Mighty obliged, friend. Good job. Thank you. He puts I would away well. Same to you. You it, managed it. It's out of her. I appreciate that. It's a hard thing to do. She's alive, I believe. He's and you, the case. that was mighty selfless. I don't know where that pretty little blade for her. He and you not. gave away your candle. It looks like he will take us for everything we have. <laughs> <laughs> well, for what it's worth, we're all going to die out there, so he can have as many treasures as he likes. <laughs> I do not plan to die. Well, that's very I'm, good of you. I have a goal to get back to my prince to save him. Just like we saved the little girl. Uh-huh. Yeah, we'll give it a go. We're getting better and better at it. I hope we do not <coughs> use the same means to save your prince, this little girl. He is not suffering from the infection. Well, at least he wasn't when you left. All right. I'm going to check my sending stones tonight. <laughs> <laughs> check in with the priest over in that other city, make sure they're doing all right. Yeah, yeah. This kind of uh, made me think of other people for once. <laughs> What's going on over there? Are they still alive? <laughs> right. <laughs> And they got near-death experience to put you in perspective. Also, coffee. <laughs> near-death also experience. Coffee. No. What was the name of the um, that one priest you guys took with you? Ilif. 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 Yeah. I okay. live for adventure. <coughs> I mean, he does now. <laughs> but he didn't want to come with us. Or he no. wasn't allowed to. Yeah, he had to stay there, man, take care of the town. Sorry. And if he came with you, he'd probably die. That's what you so said last time. time. <laughs> he was supposed to die. <laughs> he was awesome. <laughs> he was awesome. He was a heel body. He was just like, heel, 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 heel. <coughs> Does she look like she can use another cure wounds? I mean, she's still hurt, but she's like alive, stable. I'm going to sit down if she can... She looks like she's conscious. Uh, she passed back out when oh. he was ripping it free, so she's sleeping it off. But I'll sit down and tell one of the bedtime stories that I used to tell to the prince. Okay. She could probably still hear me if she's sleeping. What bedtime story do you tell her? Tell her about um, hmm, what weird bedtime stories that we tell people in the desert. I don't know. You can just we take... told her the story of the three moons. What's the story of the three moons? Oh, I'm not going to make up a three moon story on the spot. Okay. There's a little moon, there's a big moon, and there's one right in the middle. And I go through the story with her. <laughs> the middle one's just right. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
We are sleeping before we go tomorrow, then, correct? Well, if you want to make a good run of things, it's best to start early in the morning. What was her name again? Myerlinda Nailgrath. Which, which is physically ones. impossible to say with a fake Irish accent. <laughs> <laughs> Myerlinda? We'll dump Nail- another Cure Wounds into Nail- her. Nail- this is a long name. Maybe we will call her Myerlinda. <coughs> I believe she, we could see what she your prefers. Will your kinsfolk folk up. keep her safe? Aye. <gasps> what? The deal, the deal well, you can't bring her out there. The little girl cannot come with us. What Unless... good would all this saving be if we just feed her to the old man Mousy? We're not leaving her here. The deal's been struck. If you leave her here, they'll treat her like she's my own kin. If she comes with us, it is possible that she might die. Maybe there is something That's being a very learn. generous <laughs> assumption as well. I agree with the short one over here. She does not look like she can protect herself. I mean, we could try to get her back to her home, but... But even then, we should probably find out if it is still there. Yeah. Or if they didn't, you know, offer her up to the hungry for something else. <coughs> they, they may have made their own deals. Do you have a line of communication with the village? Nope. Not unless you count curses and slurs whenever they see us. I mean, we don't really get along. They see us as the hungry. We don't see ourselves that way. We have a minor difference of opinion. How far away? Is More of a craving thing? than a hunger. Pardon? How far away is this village? And is it on the path the way we are going? Oh, uh, no, sir. It's on the other side of the swamp. It's all the way around. It is on the east end side. It is. We go to the library. But not with the take her with. Girl. Yes, with the little girl. Where in the hell? How do we supposed to keep her safe? Friend, if you take her, she's liable to die. If that's what you want, we could have just left the critter in her. There would be no reason for the trade I made. Perhaps if instead we should wait want. until she wakes up. That way she may make her own choice. Even if she wanted to go with us, I don't feel like she should be able to choose this. She's a little girl, friend. Yeah. Now, mm-hmm. I don't know where you're from, but do you let children make their own choices? Because we don't here. Little ones are the responsibility of the grown-ups. I don't believe I have ever been little. That explains so very much. <laughs> It actually does. <laughs> Maybe this is your little. Maybe you are growing up. Then you'll be a, one of them giants. But a, a big, <coughs> big metal giant guy. I did not mean physically. You think he can grow physically? I mean, maybe he just had an idea. I actually know that I can grow physically. Ah, uh, see? Yeah, fuck off. How is this? <laughs> uh, I can show you since we are going to be sleeping. I kind of imagine really? this is going to... All right. This is going to be one of them things that gives me nightmares, right? <laughs> no, these are the creatures you turn into. That gives me nightmares. <laughs> While they're bantering, I'm going to try to sneak off with the girl. Oh, Romy Estelle. We're You're literally a... right next to her. Yeah. <laughs> we're, we're, we're She's in room on the bed we're around. What are you going to do? Big. <laughs> the room is as large as this room we're in. But I was Dude, telling I, her a bedtime I'm story. Gonna, I'm going to try. <laughs> as big and oafish as I am, I'm going to try to sneak out. <laughs> what did you roll? <laughs> Three. <laughs> nice. So Abner's like... You, you're going to try to rock her to sleep? She's already out cold. Fred, I don't think you should be leaving with her. Uh, I can just continue walking towards the door. Tamart, where are you going? I'm going to take her somewhere safe from this village. The village is the safe place. They have offered us protection. We have traded. (coughs) She don't don't belong to you, friend. She belongs to him. We have slept in the inn. She does not belong to you. Well, what happens to her is your choice. The nearest thing here is that peacekeeper cat. You're the closest thing to her in flesh and blood, and also 
you traded for her. So the little girl is not a slave, but she does need protection, and it is not out in the swamp. I do not think you understand. <clears throat> the hungry are still out there, friend. The village is still standing around with all these creatures. Her village is not still standing. They gave us safety for a day. I can I continue to walk towards where we were staying. Like the inn? Yeah, I'm gonna okay. start walking towards the inn. Right. By yourself? Yeah, by myself with the little girl. Okay, that's <laughs> not by yourself. <laughs> uh, we have not bartered for This was first thing in the morning, end, right? When do we, yeah, this are is pretty you early. going with her? He's like, we can still leave now if you want to, or we can I'm wait not, tomorrow morning to make a fresh start. Just walking to the end. Either way, it's going to take us a couple of days to make the part of the swamp. <sighs> mm. All right, we split the party. I'm going with Tamat. Okay. okay. I can't let him go alone like this, this idiot. Yeah, don't, don't let him. <laughs> Never mind. I will be back. Good luck to you, folks. Tamant, where are you going? Who are you going to talk to? <coughs> I'm going back to the inn. And who are you going to talk to? No one. I'm not talking to anyone. I'm going to watch over the girl. By yourself? Yes, by myself. She's just going to watch her sleep. <laughs> Does anyone in the city know about her? Have they offered her protection without the word of Abda? <sighs> I have all the protection on my, I need on my back. You are holding the little girl. How is that going to work? Can you protect her while you Go fight? away, elf man! <laughs> yeah, it's just going to continue to walk. <coughs> I keep stride. As long as you don't say anything, you'll be fine. Okay, so you guys <laughs> walk into the... Going to be. You walk into the ground floor of the inn where the bar is? Yeah. Sally's like, oh, you brought us lunch. <sighs> There would be no lunching on her. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Fine then. I know this is what you meant. Whatever you say. I go up to the room. My good friend Sally, the Sheriff Abder has granted her protection. He will come and tell everyone soon. Sounds fine by me. Can we rely on you to protect her? It is on his tab either way. Abner done all right by us, so I guess if that's what he needs, I'll do all right by him too. But uh, this ain't the safest place for anybody. It's in. Lots of strange folk coming in. Our friend is ridiculous, and there is no persuading him otherwise. If I wanted to be safe, I go to Abner's house. This might be the way we go. He will stay with her tonight. Abner's meanest cuss I know. Just saying. Is there anyone else in the bar? As he walked through. Yeah, there's other people. And some of them are just like, some of them are looking at one of them, even like licks his lips. I'll go up to the room. Okay. <laughs> How did you know this little girl? I saw her in a vision. And what did she say to you? What she did she do? She said, save me. Is this all? This was the extent of your vision? Of the vision that had her in it, yes. Was there anything else in your dreams that may have related? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> mm. No. All I know is that I drank this goddamn potion. We all did. Temujin had a vision. What kind Tem of potion? It was from Mother Nathy. You do not have to be angry. I want to know. I want to help. Mm. Uh, Orin drank the potion. Temujin drank a potion. Even the metal man. Did not drink a potion. Did not drink a potion. <laughs> <laughs> do I have any recollection of anything ever happening before the prince got sick where I came from? 
or of the name Mother Nathy? I uh, don't. You don't know anything about Mother Nathy before the prince got sick. Uh, like really sick, because he was born kind of sick. But so what happened was there was a night that lasted for like a whole three days, and everybody thought it was the end of the world and all this other stuff. And eventually, it passed and everything seemed okay, except the prince never woke up again, and he started having these really strange occurrences in. Uh, the city and in the surrounding desert and some of the wise men before they fled the area determined that what the prince was dreaming was coming to pass in the real world that somehow his dreams had become tethered to reality it was a wasting illness and he wasn't waking up he was slowly wasting away and as he wasted away his dreams became more and more terrible and are they kind of dream storming him then because he said he never woke up so they know what he's dreaming they, yeah, they kind of know he's dreaming, but most of the wise men left the area as the dreams got more and more intense. There's one left who was the advisor to the king, the vizier, who was trying to navigate the prince's dreams and keep him from destroying the surrounding area and the city you came from. But they're trying to find a way to wake him up. If this was the extent of your visions, we have uh. done what you have seen. We have saved her. I have saved her. Yes, you have saved her, but I have not. Maybe she is not in need of protection anymore. You know nothing. I think this might be trying to make up for not being able to protect your family. Oh. <coughs> There was nothing I could have done about that. There was deaths. nothing you could have done. Oren did that. Oren did that. The same vision. He had killed my family. I am very sorry for your loss. Mm. I'm staying with this girl. Mayhaps they are with the gods. I won't say anything about the gods. I worship my hammer. (laughs) (laughs) Dare not with my hammer. Right. Maybe she will wake up and we can speak with her. Fine. I'll leave him alone. Okay. Would you like to see how I become bigger? <laughs> <laughs> Are you wearing pants? <laughs> no one wants to see this. Here's a hint. <laughs> Alex is not another one. <laughs> so, those, those two statements, I worship my hammer. Would you like to see how I get bigger? This fucked up when you put them together like that. <laughs> really. Oh my god. I mean, do what you got to. <laughs> Fuck's sake. <laughs> Just to make things extra weird. Uh, I mean, I uh, guess I'll be looking at the plant baby corpse thing while you're doing it. I would need to go outside. I do not want to risk damaging the house. That seems appropriate. All right. Let's go take a peek. Okay. <coughs> I go outside and cast enlarge on myself. <laughs> <laughs> Bro. So I become a 12 foot robot. <laughs> <laughs> this is how I become a hero. <laughs> Not. It's, qu- it's quite. Fuck you, spell slots. <laughs> oh my god. That's fantastic. People seem it curious. Well, all right. Yeah, maybe that's what I'm saying. Maybe one day you'll be grown so big that that will be your normal. Hmm. Yes, I only stay this size for a minute. Well, <laughs> just, just shakes his head. Yeah, you be careful. You're gonna sink into the swamp if you if you're that big. Might make sure you don't. I mean, you're probably up to it into your shins. Hmm. You, you I think your weight like trick? quadruples or something like that. Oh yeah, it goes eight times. So I'm uh, two thousand one hundred pounds right now. <laughs> yeah, so just like. Bleh, bleh. <laughs> 
Neat. Neat. Uh, so do you folks want to leave today, or are we leaving tomorrow, or what are we doing? Uh, I believe we should wait until tomorrow. I imagine it's going to be tomorrow. <laughs> just through, through just because sports. we don't have the other two. I, uh, we're going to have to f- sort things out a bit. I'm not 100% sure. Fair enough. I'll be here. He goes over to the rocker in front of the front door, sits in it, leans back, pulls his hat down, and puts pipe in between his teeth. Should we go meet up with the others? Do you mind if I take this? A homunculus looking thing. But I guess it depends on what you're going to do with it. Usually even back to the swamp. You just throw it out there? I mean, it's dead, son. See, it is dead. You'd be carrying around a corpse in your bag. I mean... It's disgusting. That's the thing. That's actually the root of the, the thought. I was, I was saying, do, do you ever eat fish? Sure. Sure. And <coughs> you can go into any market in the room and you see the dead fish, lion, heads chopped off, belly slit, guts pulled out, and no one bats an eye. You do the same thing for, well, I guess it depends on each... Each crew. If the same, you saw the same thing for the puppy dog or something, then the whole world would be up in arms. What's the difference? Perspective. Have you never eaten dog? Uh, can't say that I have. It's not from a delicacy where are we from. Now this, this looks like a piece of cabbage. I've got broccoli in my backpack, just the same. Okay, so like his eyes get hard. I understand. And he's like, different. best you be walking on now. I'll be here when you're ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> if you know what's good for you, you don't want to get eight, you best leave that in your bag. We're going to get on magnificently on this journey. <laughs> All right. You're like, let me take your dead baby, friend. <laughs> we got an extra day's rations. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I find it funny. Oz, uh, don't eat anything this far. You what guys are this? already eating stuff. I haven't yeah. eaten it yet. No, but uh, you've been like, oh, what is this that I'm eating? And he's like, you don't want to know. <laughs> I've got you haven't, yeah. These I was guys just, all eating I stuff. I was just eating I cinnamon <laughs> rolls. <laughs> True. What have you eaten? I don't know. I guess had the stew at Sally's. You? Yeah. I guess had the stew at Sally's. Did we? All right. I thought you did. People stew. I'm pretty sure I didn't. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that would have, I would remember that. <laughs> Tastes like pork. No. <laughs> like, like I said, it's just weird. It okay. comes down to societal perspective. I'm going to pass one of those before they're gone. Let's into the whole box. Cause that's what I meant. Fuck them. <laughs> I didn't want you to like pick one up or chuck <coughs> it in here or anything. I don't want to. Okay, so he just stays there. I'll let you know if I hear anything. Mm-hmm. I'll get out of the hole that I created from doing enlarge and then <laughs> right. revert back to set normal size. Okay. Looks like we got a day's worth of who knows what's going on. Isn't it the nighttime? No. No. no it was the ass cracking on. It's like yeah, it's pretty early. I said the ass cracking on, but it's it wasn't early. Yeah. I thought it was late. No, was we it did at, it. The trade was in the morning. Was it first thing in the morning? Or was it at... I thought it was first thing at Maybe night. it was in the afternoon, evening. It might have been dusk. I think it was. Yeah, I think it was. Watch <coughs> <with> everything. <coughs> yeah, I recommend we go tomorrow. It definitely was, because right. we stayed at his house all day repairing shit. Oh, mm-hmm. that's right. Yep, yep, yep. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, they come out when it's dark. Right. Yeah, I'm going to go catch some shut eye. How do you catch Shaddai? Come on, I'll show you. I'm going to walk back to the end. No, you won't. Yeah, no, you won't. <laughs> you don't sleep. Yeah, but I'm going to try. I'm going to try. <laughs> <laughs> try my goddamnedest. <laughs> You're going to lay in bed for hours while your mind races? I know how that feels. Mm-hmm. Like the up. caffeine doesn't hit me till I lay in bed. Right, yeah. <laughs> Just like... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> 
<clears throat> okay. So you guys get back to the room. If there's a uh, piece of wood that I can snap off that looks pretty dry on the way back, I'll do that. Nothing is dry. Hmm. It's the middle of the swamp. What you looking for, that? I'm looking for something to carve. I have a wood carver's kit. I'd uh, like to try something new. All right, yeah, I mean, you, got, you want to uh, do some driftwood? That soggy log over there? <coughs> yeah, if I could find something that I can maybe dry out. You put it in the fire. You gotta burn something. Would my woodcarver tools just have something that uh, I could just whittle? Uh, no, probably not. Mm. They're just the tools. Hmm. How cabbagey is this baby? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> like, why would you ask this? It's tough like a root. Or is it tough like a root? Yeah. No, I'll just keep that in the back back burner right now. Probably make for great tea. <laughs> yeah, I have a hammer. I can uh, chop the end off the hammer and whittle that, I think. Okay. So you're going to chop the head off your hammer and whittle <laughs> the handle? Yeah. <coughs> Where'd you get a hammer? That was one of the things that I have in my starting bag. Okay. Just never used it. Just You just keep it attached to the hammer, but you can make it's it nice and It's probably part ornate. of your woodcarver tools. Right. <laughs> yeah. Make it very fancy. I got woodcarver tools, Steve's tools, cook utensils. So, <laughs> hammer is separate. Maybe you could, oh, yeah. Maybe. You could leave it on there and make it an ornate hammer. Maybe sell it for a bit more if you put a little bit of work into it. Or you could cut the whole damn thing off and make yourself a phallus. If you really want to. What is a phallus? We'll, we'll have the, <laughs> the birds and bees talk later. It's a, it's just the thing that uh, Tomat shows off whenever he rages. He waggles all around. Oh, his hammer. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. You turn your hammer into a hammer. We gotta get more than a loincloth and a metal bra. God damn it, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Why I do that? <laughs> Why I do that? It's got flames on it. <laughs> Hot tits has no pants. Hot tits. I keep forgetting that that's your name. <clears throat> yeah. I'll get back. Mm. Everything smells like pork in here. Oh yeah. yeah. I bet Hollis like does like these guys. They understand each other at least. Uh yeah, I don't stop at the bar. Okay. In fact, I just kind of keep my eyes down. <laughs> I don't want any questions tonight. <laughs> no, I just walk right past everybody. Okay. Go upstairs. <clears throat> now, hop up the flights of stairs because they're big steps. I'll follow them upstairs. All right. You guys get to the room. Anything you want to do? I'm just quietly playing the flute. God damn it! You're the reason I can't fall asleep. Wow. <sighs> just got the, you yeah. see me like covering her ears and like I play the flute. I'm covering damn like well. one of my ears. <laughs> is that a one? But not a true botch. Okay, this is bad. <laughs> just shite. That's yeah, just really bad. I'm it's really like, not good at. <laughs> I fucked up <laughs> elven music. Yeah, it's like, uh, you know, it's, it's pretty rough. It's like one of those atonal uh, experimental jazz things going on. Maybe I need oh, to tune my flute. <laughs> Not in front of all of us. <laughs> <laughs> They're children present. So many today. <laughs> so many, so many. Want to see me grow? I worship my hammer. Maybe I have to tune my flute. <laughs> I feel like we should keep track. You should keep a score or something in the notes. <laughs> Hmm. Maybe you shouldn't. No, no. <laughs> then it's a full-time job. Full-time job. 
Yeah. And Brian always wins those. That's true. <laughs> he knows how to take it way too far. True. I, I passed my turn. <laughs> okay. Uh, this is why you don't roll when you don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, Did Abdel say when we were going? Said best to start in the morning, very early. First thing. I what about you? We could talk to the little girl before we leave. Make sure she knows that we are leaving her in the <coughs> protection. I, know I, I can talk to her one more time tonight. Tomato's marriage is not going to go to the library. Oh, we're all going to the library. And she is coming with. See, it's a fine line between exercising uh, experience and judgment and kidnapping. And so you have to be careful. I understand that you're very protective of this one. However, if she doesn't want to go, what are you going to do then? I believe she will want to go. I do you, not think you know what she Would wants. you want to stay in a city where everyone wants to eat you? Would Just, you prefer to go back to a place where everything will eat you? She will have me. She was terrified. Mm. This All she could think about point. was running from the hungry. We'll go to the library. And then we'll take her out of the swamp. Maybe I could convince <coughs> Abdel, since I traded him such a valuable item. There is a ship coming in three weeks. If we do not come back from the library, maybe someone here can take her to the ship. Sure. And sure. give her passage. And maybe accidentally eat her on the way to the ship. He has given us his word. Oh, his word. I do not trust his word. He I trust has been his true word. to his word so far. He has done nothing for us. He is going to guide us into the swamp. What are you proposing? We take her with. Our, um, this, this is your only did, line of the yeah. game. How, what if we or I thought maybe think outside the box? Mm. Before doing that. Uh, perhaps a hundred times over, I would say we just wait here and then go back to the shore and put her on the boat then. Do we have time for that, Temenjo? No, no, but it'd be far better than bringing her back out there like a shish kebab. You could use her as bait. Old man Masi, is that what you want? Mm. Are you suggesting we leave the room to think? <coughs> box. I have another idea as yeah. well. Maybe you should do that. <laughs> I walk outside. <laughs> <laughs> I have this. <laughs> it's just so subtle. It's always so goddamn subtle. <laughs> I have this to mount. And I pull out the sending zone. The clergy in the city, they were good to the orphans. They could take care mm. of her. And she could have this. Story. Yes, talk to Ilif. They're not going to be able to come today. Oilif might be able to get on the ship when it's back up north, though. And he could talk to Ilif right way. now. And then you'd only have to worry about leaving her here for about a week or so. And maybe they have some good insight that we do not. Talk to Ilif now. All right. Are we trying? <laughs> All right. <laughs> ting, ting, ting. How's this thing work? I like bite it. <laughs> this thing <Hello>. on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Saul's Hello? like, Hello? Who am I talking to? This is Elio. You're speaking with Saul. Mr. Saul, my good friend. We have a conundrum. <coughs> no, we have a little girl. Can they hear us? Can you hear just the background chat? No, no, just This you. is good. <laughs> no, I can only hear you. How is the city, first of all? Everything is okay? So we found a few more infected, but Ilif is helping the guard take care of matters, and we've contained the infection so far. Things are working out 
not great, but all right. I know that we have asked a lot from you. I have another request. What can I help you with? I want to send back... We found a little girl. She is in need of help. Her name is Maya Linda, I think. Yep, Maya Linda. And we cannot take her where we go. I want to give her the stone and send her back to you, but we need maybe... Is there a ship that you can send back sooner than three weeks? I'm not sure. I'd have to look into it. It would be worth getting your stone back. I don't know how valuable these are. I mean, I gave it to you. It's your stone now. It's the way that if you want to communicate with me and ask me questions or have me search the library for things here, I can. This is something that would be important, but it seems as little girl is important as well. Well, all little girls are important. Yes, life is important. But yes. Tamat says that he has seen her in her vision, in his vision. Do you believe him? He was very adamant. <laughs> That's not what I asked. I believe he has seen something. He did not have a long vision, and he does not know exactly what he has seen. I'm saying all this out loud, by the way. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yes, yes, tell, tell him that I saw her in the vision, and she said, save me. This is what I tell you. Okay, so you... She said, save me. All right, interesting. Maybe she has a some part to play in the things that will unfold. Perhaps she has a connection. Yes, yes. Make him understand that she has a connection. <laughs> I am trying to talk to Mutt. So you wish to send her here? <coughs> this is the wish. The ship that you had give, given us passage is coming back in three weeks. I'm not thinking any better out here. <coughs> perhaps, perhaps you need to get out of the whole box. Go all the way back outside. <laughs> okay. Is there something you can do? It would help to Matt. It would ease his mind if there was someone that can come sooner. I mean... I'm not sure if I can get someone to come sooner, but if you can make sure that she's safe there until the next ship does come, uh, I can pay for her passage back here and enroll her as an alkalite. Tamat has wished that Ilif may come pick her up himself. He trusts Ilif profusely. Well, uh, if Ilif is going to leave, then it has to at least be another week or two. We have to make sure the infection here is over. Isla's been very instrumental in helping the guards to keep the infection quarantined and dealt with. Is there anyone else that you trust? Well, there are many here that I trust. That can come earlier? Yes, I can send another alkali to go and get her. This will be much appreciated. I can give you directions and how we got here and where to meet. All right. <clears throat> there is something else. The people they might meet are not the common folk. And I'll describe to him the village, the people that are probably going to have to escort her to the meeting point. Okay. Because they're not going to come into here. There's no, just no way they're going to They're only going to sail as far as the outpost. <laughs> only the halflings come into the swamp. So this is what I tell them. Without taking up way too much time. Okay. Blah, 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 blah. Cool. I can never thank you enough, and I hope we meet again. And if I do send the stone with the little girl, then we will be talking to you later. I'll let you know either way. Mr. Guide your steps. Yes. And then he breaks contact. He is going to send I left. <laughs> no, he's not. I know. <laughs> I lie. Okay. All right. Well, deception. deception. <laughs> yeah, we're all in this small room. <laughs> yeah, but it's yeah. only to me. Oh, are you the only one that can hear it too? Yeah. Oh, all right. Well, if they can't hear the background chatter, I just figured. Yeah. Okay. I wonder if the person holding the stone. <laughs> and what do we roll? Uh, insight. 
What'd you roll? Ten. Nice. Oh god damn it! Come on. I want to kill him. <laughs> Natural twenty. <laughs> He's totally lying to you. <sighs> I am but no it would mood. take three weeks. I so no I asked if there could play be games somebody with you, else. Elf man. Do Relax. not try my patience. Relax, Tomorrow. Or trust. I don't trust you, and I don't trust those plant people outside. Ooh. We're leaving tonight. And he's loud when he says that. Uh, <coughs> and he says that. Tenjin, this one lies oh, to us. Oh, you know, there's just plenty. It. Fuck it. Lion is just part of our day-to-day living. I would like to say I am outside the tavern. Because I was thinking way outside the box. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, I sent him all the way outside the building. <laughs> nice. He said that he can send Eilif, but it would take much too long. So he can send another acolyte. You've already I lied once. I took the tuber I back into the backpack. Yep. You, <laughs> you said he was sending Eilif. I open the door, and I stand in it like I'm looking in, like a concerned other people. You patron. open the door? Yeah. Sally's bringing a tray of food to somebody down the hall, and she's looking in like shocked, like... She looks over at you like, and then keeps going down the hallway. Close the door. Please. I pull it closed from the outside. <laughs> <laughs> you hear she's like, well, I never. She comes with us uh, tomorrow. She is not coming with us. Unfortunately, I do it all the time. I have to listen to his crazy rantings. For what it's worth, I don't take them personal. She just won't even look at you. She just shakes her head and goes and knocks on someone's door and brings them some food. And mm-hmm. Then she walks past you and kind of bumps you none too gently on the way by. <laughs> Easy, lass. I'm standing here. <laughs> I call the bullshit out loud. <laughs> yeah, she still won't look at you. <laughs> Temujin, please. Temujin's not here. I'm just outside the door. He oh. closed the door. He went outside oh, and closed shit. the door, yeah. yeah. I mean, I could probably hear you. Because you're loud. Yes. <laughs> That's the whole point. <laughs> As Abder has already stated, I have <clears throat> saved her. Hold the door again. And I say that she goes back to the city, where she will be safe. <clears throat> she is not going to be safe in the swamp, and you cannot protect her on our journey. <clears throat> You I'm just gonna to yeah, I'm, oh, I yell into your face and I just take off. I'll just open the I'm door sta- and I'm I standing slam in it. the door. <laughs> <laughs> I open the door. I walk right over ten minutes. <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> and Is the I little girl still sleeping after this bell burst? Yeah, she's sleeping fitfully, but and he just you go I'm storming down. Start thing. storming down, and I start walking around the. I just kind of start walking around the village. Okay. I'm going to close the door and step inside and say, we're going to have to hide her. I so am tired of cuddling Tamant. No, that's what I mean. We do not have to hide her. No. We need to make sure she is safe and to hide her from these people. And, well, he doesn't understand that. He, he doesn't understand that that's the way we keep her safe. That's how he saves her. By sending her away to this priest. There is only so many times you can tell him these things. Uh, well, and how many times is that? It seems innumerable. Well, no, you, you've done like three times, maybe. You say it so many times, and you said only so many times. What if there's more? What if it just takes longer? You gotta convince somebody. Or what if you got to just hide the girl and make it Pretend we can tell her we, that she woke up and decided to go back to her home. We need Tamat to come with us, and if we hide her, he's just going to stay and try to find her. No, she, well, she ran Or back. he's going to punch me she, again. She woke up and ran back into the swamp, headed back to her home. Then he would go looking for her. But she this is a good library. line of thinking. Maybe, Maybe we say that she has already gone towards a meeting point. Yeah, but maybe they're... Not into the swamp, but towards the clergy. Mm-hmm. I got Saul to send us a ship tonight. They're going Gosh. to be here within a few days. 
That's promising. He saw right through my uh, bullshit. Is that so weird? Uh, yeah, yeah, that's the right one. Maybe you can help me. <coughs> <coughs> um, I mean, I. Are you good at the I I wouldn't say that I'm in a position to help you. I I can hold my own, I suppose, but I don't know if we can really work Is together. Is there any on that magic sort of thing. Ding, 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 that you can do? Well, yes, there are ways we can make this happen. So the scheme is alive. What if, uh, I mean, she may, maybe she's too far gone already, and she turned into some kind of crazy <coughs> demon while he was away because he left her behind. He abandoned her in this hotel room. No. He's the one that cursed her to death. No. This is too harsh. She is safe at the clergy, because that is where she's going to be anyways. All right. Yeah, but I'm just saying, unless our plan is to stay here and walk her back. Someone has river. taken her already. <coughs> Someone. <coughs> one of the Larrys. He doesn't know which one is which. Three. Oh, I don't even know which one is which. <laughs> yeah, they're both, they're both the same. Yeah. What is they that? all look the same. Yeah. <laughs> they all look the same. Oh, Larry's. <laughs> oh, Larry's. Larry the Cucumber. So we deceive the map. This is the plan tonight. And then we go deeper into the swamp. Wait, so for tonight, we say Larry's bringing her... <coughs> I don't know if he's going to like that. He's going to... He's going to chase her all the way back to the river. He doesn't trust the Larry. Then we just tell him to man up, stop being a baby, talk to him like a child, maybe he will listen, he Gosh, listens to you. That's what I'm saying, that's why I'm saying maybe we got to fake his death, fake her death. Just practicing right now, guys. <laughs> We're natural 20. <laughs> <laughs> I think that you should just talk to him like a friend and tell him the truth and tell him to suck it up. Because all the other plans just end up him running off by himself. He's going to get himself killed. We need him in the swamp. We need him to meet the guardian. Actually, maybe not that one, but the other ones. <laughs> Anything where we need a strong <coughs> hand in battle. Okay. All right, all right, I'll try. I can help you, but I will let you do the talking. This is something I'm good at, but I do not have a connection. Mm. But um, and so yeah, let's let's just wait until he gets back. He's going to go pout in the corner, mm. or hit something with his hammer. Yeah, if he if he gets himself thrown into Abder's jail cells, perhaps that'll solve itself. He will want to trade again, and then he will take, I don't know, Axe's staff. Or Tamat's horn. He's just going to keep taking everything we have. Well, you got to imagine that he doesn't get a lot of opportunity. Certainly not a bunch of dumb bastards like us coming in with it. too many magic icons. That bastard. That's, it's like a windfall for him. Can't hold it against him. He's trying to save his old town. Or his old cabbage patch or whatever it is. So we wait. Okay. Tomato, are you thinking outside of the box as well? Mm, X. <laughs> <coughs> they're not listening to me. And they're not listening to reason. What is the reason you're trying to give them? Watch X just solve it. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> This little girl is important to the world. I saw her in my vision. Hmm. And they just want to leave her in a city where they eat little girls. Or they just want to put her on a boat. And 
And they were going to have the people that eat little girls take her to the boat. That does not make sense, does it? Well, the one person I do believe I trust the most in this town would be Abder. And why? Because he has given us our word, his word, and he has uh, come through on it multiple times. There are many what, times he could have... What has he done for us? He has let us stay here one night? Uh, he let us stay here one night. Uh, we traded for the little girl's life. He's oh, been most recent. That was his trade. And he only wanted that little girl because of the plant in her. I'm assuming we're doing this away from the inn. I don't know. I thought you guys were right outside. I figured I was walking next to him. Okay, so you're going to try to walk him away a little bit? Yeah. Mm, All right. Uh, I do not believe uh, the people appreciate being compared to uh, plants like everyone keeps doing. Mm. I don't know what else to call them. I've never seen anything like this. Well, they are not hostile, so they are not uh, trolls. They are not uh, uh, born like you would, well, born like you or me. <laughs> you were born? <laughs> and that I is was all created. fine. <laughs> that is all fine. Regardless, they do not seem hostile towards us, mm. so... Axe, you have to help me take her with us tomorrow. Hmm. Do you believe she would be safer with us going through troll territory than here? Yes. Hmm. It is my destiny to save her. Oh, God. Hmm. (laughs) I'm worried for what could happen to her in the swamp. But it is possible that uh, they seem to follow what Abder says. So perhaps if uh, he gives his word that nothing will happen, I would be okay with leaving her here. However, if he doesn't, then uh, we could perhaps take her with or maybe go up north. Do we have a hard deadline on the library? Mm. They say that we don't have much time. Temujin, Temujin wants to go as soon as possible. Well, perhaps we would have to leave it to Temujin to come up with a better plan then. If he is making a deadline. Oh, he's up in that room with that lying elf. That elf lied to me. I saw it in his eyes and he shook. He quivered in fear when I screamed in his face. I would imagine many people would have that reaction. Yes. <laughs> Hmm. It was your breath. (laughs) (laughs) Smells like pork. We'll talk to Temujin tomorrow morning. That sounds like a reasonable plan. Are there any trees I can climb? Uh, Can I get a long rest (laughs) sleeping in a tree? Uh... I'm to my Maybe. <laughs> if nothing finds you in the tree. Oh, man. Ah, oh, shit. Well, I'll just go. <sighs> we'll head back and we'll talk some sense into them, right? Uh, I believe we could wait until morning. <sighs> trying to do a different spell. I like tired. Lighter. We'll go back and settle this. In the morning? Or... It is getting late. I think it would be best for everyone to rest so that they could have time to think it over during the night. Yes. Yes, we'll sleep on it. That's yes. right. Yes. How many beds are in our hotel room? Uh, Not four. That's what I'm thinking. Right? You guys were short a couple. I would probably just be uh, cross-legged in front of the door. Does the door open in? To the room? Uh, you pulled it yeah. shut when you left the hallway. Or yeah. Into the hallway. It opens in. Okay. To the room. Why? Well, if he was saying that he's going to sit cross legged in front of the door. I don't know if he's going to be. No, if it opens in, I'll be far enough away for it that if someone opens, it doesn't. 
Okay. Oh <laughs> <Aw>, man. <laughs> I thought you were going to answer the door jam. Yeah. All right. So you guys go back. Yep. An overpaid door jam. <laughs> All right. So as you walk in, like Sally's behind the bar and she gives you like a she's like just like fucking gives you a nasty mean mug look. I give her a nasty mean mug look back. Nice. To my. Let's see that mean mug look. <sighs> Roll off some intimidation. <laughs> oh nice, dude. You're gonna have to rage to not be a favorite. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Come on. 18 and 4 is 22. Wow. All right. So you're meaner than she is. I just give give her a little bark. All right. She, like, looks away. There are a couple of the irregulars at the bar that turn to look at you. The irregulars. (laughs) (laughs) Oh. That would be great. (laughs) Kill them, Mary. (laughs) (laughs) One time they were in the swamp. Yeah, right. Mm. Now there's a couple of them that kind of look at you that give you kind of ugly looks. I just we'll just keep walking. Okay, endearing yourself to the locals. Got it. You go upstairs. That's not what we do. S- oh shit! <laughs> Swing open the door. Jesus, man! There's a little girl sleeping in here. Oh, j- j- I'm sorry, Timmy. Yeah, why? Why you gotta be so rude? Relax. I go, I go over to the little girl and I just kind of lay down right by the bed. Okay. On oh, the floor. floor. Yep. All right, well, since there's, she's tiny and there's half a bed left, I'm going to take the other end. <laughs> okay, you lay down too. Yeah. It's not very comfortable, though. I mean, it's not a bed, right? It's a pallet of straw. Yeah. That's what they gave us. Right, you three of those. Yeah. You're feeling a little bit better. No. We agreed that we would sleep on it, though. Give time to think. All right. (laughs) I guess that's something. I kind of look... Actually, no, I can't do that. You can talk to us, we can't talk to you, right? In telepathy? Yeah. Yeah. Unless I cast a spell. I'll wait till he sleeps. Mm -hmm. Well, obviously... Right. It's the only one that sleeps. The only one sleeps. <laughs> so eventually, so you we fall are asleep. going to sleep on it. <laughs> okay. Um, means... I'm going to wait till he sleeps, and I'm going to tell Timogen something. All right, go ahead. Whittling it. But I want to make sure he's really asleep. He probably snores like a mug, doesn't he? Like, yeah, he's he's just checking. Really. He goes to sleep at some point. <laughs> Sooner or later, yeah. So when he goes to sleep, oh. Timogen, you uh, were able to talk to the little girl when she was sleeping. Yeah. Is there something you can do to Tamat? Uh, I mean, I could give it a try. When when they're sleeping, it's difficult. You'll, you'll probably wake him up. No, it it really only worked with her because she couldn't wake up. She she was out and she was she was dreaming. If he's just it was sleep, more, I don't know if he could hear words. It was more like a coma than sleep. What she was doing. Yeah, I think that's a higher level spell. <laughs> What you're asking? It was worth a thought. I mean, I could certainly whisper sweet nothings into his mind, perhaps relax him a bit. I could play the flute. No, you wake him the fuck up. I do not want that. But I mean, I can tell that I'm not going to get a moment of sleep on this god on <coughs> god awful mattress thing, pile of hay, pop of bugs in it, and what we'll However, I mean, I could spend the next eight hours just slamming his mind with subconscious thoughts. <laughs> this sounds like a plan. All right. I'll help. <laughs> okay. Before we Should wake up, though. It. <laughs> Five days till the Eric's. No. Oh, the Horn of Valhalla. That's yeah. probably what you're dreaming about is yeah. all the Eric's. All the Eric's. <laughs> That's going to be so good. Can't wait till they. In come fact, back. I wake up right now and I go, "My brothers were victorious," and I see Dimension and I go, "Oh fuck!" fuck. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he just looks super annoyed. All red eyed, yeah, cracked out looking. How did you sleep last night, Dimension? When you wake up yelling, though, the girl wakes up. Mm-hmm. She's like, "Where am I? What an asshole! What's going on? It's okay." 
It's okay. It's all right. Do you remember me? Temujin. Temujin Padraxis, we... That name sounds familiar. I don't know. Where you're, are we? It's okay. You're you're in uh, an inn of some kind. I don't know what it was called. Something inappropriate, I think. Bugbear's Inn or something. <coughs> I don't remember. But you were infected. We saved you. What? How? The hungry. My parents. Where are my parents? They are not here. And we do not know where they are. What town are we in? I do uh, not know the name of this town. I don't know if they gave it a name. Did they give us a name? It has a name. But the <coughs> question is, <coughs> did we get one? Do we know the name? I don't know. I can uh, tell you uh, that we are in a town. That I think a long time ago the halflings told you the name. Was... No, they told us no. about Viracon or Viracon or whatever. Uh, the, out there. Yeah, they they mentioned, um, but that wasn't this town. V- okay. Oh yeah, no, Loch Merith. They're going to Velis, the last Vellis. outpost oh, before Merith. Yep, Velis. What they can tell you is, is good notes. Yeah, man. Good job, mate. <laughs> so you are in unfriendly <coughs> territory, oh, uh, but that you do have friends uh, here. Are you all right? Uh, uh, Did you get enough sleep? Yeah. Yo. Yo. Tomat here's been <laughs> mighty concerned for you. He's been doing a good job keeping you safe. Elio kind of too. Kind of prod when Temujin says that. Elio too. He he's the one that made sure we could save you in the first place. The hungry infected you. And they traded you to these villagers. Can you tell us what you remember? I was with my family. We were out foraging and then the hungry came. I don't remember what happened next. Something bad. My brother was screaming. Please, I have to get back to Therabard. So there a bond? My family will be there. If the hungry attacked your city, you would not be safe. We weren't in the city, we were out foraging. Dimension, we gotta get her back. Would you would you know the way if we had a map? Would you be able to see it? A map of the swamp, perhaps. I don't know. I haven't really gone far from from Therabard ever. We would be able to find the village if we needed. For sure. We'll be able to. Help. Oh, he's just asking for a head start. <coughs> don't need to take her out of the conversation that fast. No, Mr. Abdel could take us there if we needed or point it out on the map. Right, yeah, I'm seeing it's a possibility. I was just striking up a conversation with her. She's just here. No reason to exclude her already. What's the name of this town again? We didn't Vel- come up with Velis? Her. Velis? Velis. I thought Velis was not the town. Velis is the last town before you. So this is <laughs> this it. This is the town. Yes. Yeah. Before. We're in Ve- oh. Before before the gods, we have to leave. Quick. Velis is where the hungry live. Velis is where some of the hungry live, but not the hungry that you know. They're not like the big tree folk ones that go wandering through the swamp. And they're not like the large trolls that infect others. They're not the ones that infected you. In fact, they're the ones that... Short version is that we struck a deal. And we're all right here. We're safe. They who, they know who we are, and we know who they are. And not just us, but you are also safe. I want to go home. Really? Do we find a way? <clears throat> How... How far would you say that uh, your home is from here? Well, I don't know. It's on the other side of the swamp, but the swamp is large, and it takes a long time to get anywhere. So it's exactly a long time miles away. It is on the opposite side of where we are going. Mm -hmm. Well, 
we were imagining that it, we were going to head into the swamp. And why? Well, we got we got something to do. It's not safe in there. No, we're, but we're great adventurers. That, that we are, I guess. Would you so, uh, rather that we find out if your city is still standing? Well, how you would we find are... out without uh, some sort of a... I don't even know what. <coughs> We'd have to have someone go there and see, and then come back. Or we go there ourselves. Yeah, well, yes. It is not safe in the swamp. And we are going into the swamp. Why? We have a goal, a mission. Gotta get to the center. That's However, where we find him. The center is halfway to. Yeah. What is your city's name one more time? Therbard. Therbard. What is it with this plot of land where none of the names are even pronounceable? It's just a bundle of fucking letters. Fair part. Fair. Where are you from? Look, we've been all over. Me? <laughs> Funny you should ask. I used to live in the jaw. That's a place between, below the god's teeth. <coughs> in the mountains. You ever been? You ever heard of the teeth? If you go into the swamp, you're never going to come back. No one ever comes back from the swamp. Well, you just did. Perhaps you're the first. Please don't go. Just take me home. To go home, we'd have to go through the swamp. Oh, no, that's not true. We don't need to lie to the girl. We could go around. It's just not ideal. It would take forever. It would take forever. And what's worse than that? By the time we do it, who knows? The whole world can end. What? And, and, and no one little girl is worth the entire world in it. <laughs> Do not listen to him. It is maybe possible to have someone here guide her to her hometown, going around the swamp. Well, I mean, I've I've grown rather attached to you guys, and not, you know, like we're mates or anything. But if we were to split up that long, I don't think we'd ever see each other again. I did not mean one of us. Oh, all right. What do you say? Maybe Larry. What do you say? You want one of the one of the hungry to bring you over? Bring you home. what? Uh, no. That's what. See, this is easy. All you have to do is tell the truth out loud, and the answers start getting checked off the list. You can cross them right off. Do you so want to come to the center with us, and then afterwards us. we'll take you home? I don't want to die. You yeah. will not die. You have Tamat next to you. That's that one. If you go to the center of the swamp, you're gonna die. Old man Mossy lives there. He's bad. And what do you know of this old man, Mossy? He eats people. He's the hungriest of the hungry. We'll feed him Abner. <laughs> He's got no... You can feed somebody to him? You're horrible people, too. Oh, my gods. Yes. She yeah. It was, she she was just a joke. It was just a joke. <laughs> She's no. like... Eh. It was just a really bad joke. Just a really bad joke. He just wants to kill the person that helped get you you from them in the first place. <coughs> okay, she's crying. <laughs> Good job. You made her cry. There's a knock on the door. This must be Abdel. <coughs> or Sally. Boys. Abdel. Well, good morning, Mr. Abdel. Well, she's awake. Yes, indeed. We were just discussing... And she sees box. him and then scoots to the far back of the room. I'll kind of like stand in front of her and him. Like between, between them? them. Yeah. Okay. Like, don't worry, lass. I mean, you know, ill will. Like I said, we made a deal. You're as safe as rain here. Because, like, in fact, I brought you some food. And Larry and the other Larry. They're going to take care of you like your kin. Everything will be all right. Hmm. 
<laughs> you can see them just, just like actively like not <laughs> talking. He's gnawing yeah. on his knuckles. <laughs> so he brings her in some food and she takes it from him and kind of settles down a little bit and starts eating ravenously. Hungry. She was hungry. And now she's not. She less less than she was. Would you rather that we find out if your home is still standing and we come back and fetch you, if it is? If you go into the swamp, I'm never going to see you again. We have a boat that is coming, correct? But not to her home. So I do have a backup plan, but it would not be for you to go home. It would be for you to be safe with someone else. I don't know if this is what you would want. If I can't go home, I just want to be someplace safe. Please. Does a river run by where you live? Hmm. Um, we have a map. Yeah. Let me look at my map. I mean, I'm every mistaken. river goes towards no. the swamp. So. Well, you'd have to go through the swamp because all the rivers kind of connect. But only once you get into the swamp. <coughs> right. So no. So no. Okay. So no. definitely no. Because all the rivers run to the swamp. Right. You'd have to go through the swamp. And where are we right now? We are here. There's Ross. My thought was if Outpost. we send her up that Oops. to that You guys are on the western town. edge of the swamp. That was. Maybe there was a, uh, a river that goes out towards your area or something. Nope. You'd have to go Pretty through. high upstream. Either through the mountains to the north or through mm. tons of grassland to the south and crossing three rivers and then into the mm. mountains. The mountains are on the east side of the swamp. Kind of mm. makes that crater. Mm. This mm. is the second option if we do not come back. And then I give her the rundown with the stone. I show okay, her the, the stone. stone you give it to her. All right. Uh, and you tell her, like, the, the boat will be back in, like, almost three weeks or something like that. So if you guys aren't back in three weeks, then she's supposed to take the boat to the clergy. And they can send an acolyte with, and uh, I'd even let her talk to Saul. Okay. If he's up for it. Yeah, I mean, if she talks to Saul. He's up. So I give her the stone, and I let her have a conversation. I tell him about her, about how old she is, and okay. her How demeanor. fast do half-elves mature. I think they're like humans, right? Same as humans? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it's just after they reach. So she's like 13. She's like a tween. I tell him all the important information before he just gets put on the phone. Okay, <laughs> cool. <coughs> <coughs> Alright, so I mean, she's kind of scared and sort of sad about stuff, but she agrees to do whatever you guys think is best. I can leave you with the stone. You could talk to Saul if okay. you were ever afraid. Okay. He is a very good man. He has helped us immensely. He takes care of the children in the city. And if the sin and stone is not enough to make you feel alright, I also got one of these. I go past a vegetable <laughs> and I grab the, the porcelain dolls out. Nice. I go, oh, one of these, I do. Oh, and, that's amazing. Yeah, Thank you. Yeah. I, and she I like cradles does, it. Yeah. <laughs> Something to take your mind off things, if nothing else. Thank you. Yeah. Quite right. Temujin Petraxis we. Ah, that's me. Most famousest man in the whole world. So she like agrees to stay with Larry and the other Larry, although she seems kind of scared of them. They're both pretty good at putting people at ease. We're all looking at Demot yeah. now. I'm waiting. Are you? Uh, <laughs> we're all. Are you gonna let this happen? You're gonna put put your foot down. Does not seem to wish to come with us. If this is what the girl wants, then I'm all right with it for right now. Abby's like, if you take her into a swamp, it's about the same exact thing as killing her. Point at the little girl. <laughs> she, she knows, knows the truth. I think, I think she understands <laughs> that much. Yeah, 
Children should know the truth of things. Just because they're young doesn't mean we should shield them from the truths. Hmm. Should we take the stone back from her? No, I believe it is. I had already told her that this can be used for her comfort. Mm -hmm. So she can be less afraid. Saul tells you that he is going to take the boat down. Hey. Mr. Saul Saul is going to come himself. After talking to her for a little bit, he he's like, yeah, I'm going to come down and pick her up. And I am not lying. <laughs> Damn, dude. That's an inside king today. I am. He's telling the truth. Do you trust Saul? Yes, I trust Saul. Will That's you be sir. able to trust Larry and Larry and Val? I swear on my life. I swear on this elf's life. This is not and Temujin's life. And the robot's metal. If anything happens to this girl, I hold you responsible. Both Larry's nod in unison. Val looks a little bit uncomfortable. Mel just smiles at you. I don't like that smile, but that's okay. I'm gonna <laughs> let it pass for just to get on for <coughs> sake. Okay. So Abdur's like, well, I reckon it's time for us to leave. Got a skiff outside we can use to paddle into the swamp. I I take out one of my I have two hand axes, right? <laughs> I take out one of my hand axes and I hand this I hand it to the little girl. Okay, and she's like Be very careful with that. Okay. Yeah, that's thank you. It's not really much of a gift. It's for her protection. Thank thank you. Swing wildly <laughs> if you're in danger. Okay. I I, I will <laughs> <laughs> You just like shake your head over there. Uh, what else can you do? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> don't know what to do. Mm. I, I gave her a doll, and you gave her uh, an axe. Yes, and which one's going to save her life if she's in danger? N- nothing. You, you know what happens when you get in, in a knife fight? And that's just a big knife, really. Everybody gets hurt. That's what happens. Abner's like, listen, boys, take her to the house, and if the hungry come into town, put her in a cell. They'll smell it, but you, your job is to keep them away. They the Larry's nod. Mm. I'm going to try to subtly question the little girl, kind of about visions, but I'm going to try to sprinkle it into regular conversation. Okay, she see if she has any inkling of what I'm talking about. Okay. So she is clueless. <laughs> so you're just trying made... to sprinkle. So, what kind of words do you use? Like some of the things we've seen in the vision. You didn't see anything in the vision. But I've heard what's seen. So, no, she doesn't talk. She doesn't acknowledge any of the things that you talk about seeing. Okay. I'm not going to try to drill her, though. <coughs> okay. Mother Nathy's Mother Nathy's potions are not for any prepubescent people. Well, what do you say we get the fuck out of here? Yes. So Abner leaves. You got you got three days worth of this. I'll follow Abner. All right. Okay. I'll follow Abner. Before we leave, can you tell me your mother and your father's name? Oh God. Just so in case we do go that way. Yeah. And your brothers, that. and if you have a dog. Nah, no shit, right? And the name of the street you lived on, just in case. And who is the mayor of the town? Yeah. My mother's name is Seretlin. Seretlin? C-E-R-E-T-L-A-N. I'm not writing that one down, so it's up to you, Mr. No Taker. Right. What's your dad's name? Joe. <laughs> Larry. He's the human half. Larry. <laughs> <laughs> Just everyone from now on is named Larry. Except for the Eric's. And the Chad. <laughs> One Chad. <laughs> One Chad. 
And my father is Welvor. Welvor? Welvor. W A E L V O R. Welvor. My, my father is the leader of our band. Your father was the leader? So, I don't try to keep questioning. I want to, but I I hold myself back. <laughs> All right, she leaves with Larry's. Abdur leads you guys outside, and you walk to the outside of town, and there's like a, a flat raft. That's maybe twenty by 20, twenty by ten. It's pretty large, and it's got like a little shelter in the middle of it. This was the best that could have happened. I am not comfortable with this. And for the sake of our adventure, we'll keep going. But even you must admit that it was her choice. I admit that she said okay. This might be the way you save her. Maybe, Maybe you just did it. I did nothing. Sometimes that's all you have to do. Mm. You just don't have to fuck it up. This is well, very true. if we're all lucky, you'll be back in time to see her on her way. And if we are not lucky, <laughs> no. it will not matter. Right, if we're so not what are lucky, you saying, Abder? I'm saying if we're lucky, we'll... And it's a race. Where are you going to a race? It's a raft. Yeah. Against <laughs> time itself. Actually, and I will you win. have a big paddle, maybe he will want to paddle for us. It's best if we just kind of go with the flow, at least in the beginning. The less noise we make, the better out here. Are you going to be hard for that? Be able to hold his head? <laughs> <laughs> he just says this. He's like, the louder we are, the more the critters will stir up. And some of the critters are almost as bad as the hungry. Did you hear this? Don't worry about me. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, in fact, around day two, we have ourselves a little bit of a choice you gentlemen want to consider. And uh, what choice is that? Whether or not we're going to go through a hungry camp or we're going to turn left and try to paddle through a patch that belongs to cattle bleepus. I suppose since we've been talking about catabolipus all day, Wait, we fuck? should choose that path. What the fuck is a catabolipus? <laughs> I do yeah. not know what this is. But I do know as the hungry are. Are they the ones that we yeah. saw last night? Them tree folk? Mm, larger. This does not seem like a good idea. Well, I have larger. nothing left to trade. You've taken it. I understand. In fact, from here on out, most of my services are going to be free. You've already paid up front. Well, then... <laughs> but we got to make some choices. <laughs> now you've, you've intrigued me a bit. We either have to try to get through the hungry camp, and I if we walk into their territory, trading ain't going to get us out. Old man Mossy will probably trade, but most of the regular hungry, that's what they are, hungry. And what does this old man trade us? Well, we'll have to see. Last time I was here, he traded lives. I do not I'm think we have lives. Telepathically, I'm going to shoot at Adner and say, he's not going to be willing to part with it, but push come to shove to Mount Scaff if we need to get past Old Man Masi. That's all I'll say. Okay, so he just like nods his head. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> That's maybe, why I said maybe it telepathically. In five days. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't gonna happen. <laughs> right. But maybe in five days you have what it takes to get past Old Man Mossy. It's called Nine Erics. Maybe. Yeah, I don't or, know, man. Or don't only four show here. up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? You're like, oops, well, we have four Erics. Fuck me. <sighs> eight Erics in a chat. <laughs> <laughs> or two Eric's and a Chad. Yeah, right. Yeah. Uh. Or worse, two Chads. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> that is the worst. <clears throat> All right, so he's, you know, pulling down river. Unless you guys want to pick a fight with something, he can navigate the swamp well enough to keep you guys from having to get into any issues for the first day. I don't I'll be fine. Like picking a fight. Unless it's with Tamat. Okay. 
I mean, you see some gators mm-hmm. and stuff like that. They mostly steer clear. Most of the animals, when they smell abdur, they kind of shy away. Mm. Like, cool. they they don't like trolls. And he smells like a troll. Interesting. He says as much that uh, hungry do a fair bit of catching and eating of things, and most things steer clear because of it. Do I also smell like a troll? No. With my root in the backpack? No, that just smells like death. Okay, it's starting to stink. <laughs> yeah, it just smells it's, like a dead thing. It's not flesh, it's just old broccoli. <laughs> it's starting to stink. It's all right. But we're in a swamp, so I can't tell the difference. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right, everything smells bad. Temujin, you remind me, your smell reminds me of my mother when I was younger. Hmm. Oh, that's horrible. <laughs> <laughs> that's interesting because, I mean, I, what I smell doesn't remind me of your mother at all. <laughs> so as you're getting towards the end of the first day in the swamp. <laughs> yeah, we're getting uh, punchy. <laughs> yeah, well, Abner's like, uh, we could stop for the night or we could push on. I have to warn you, the hungrier are out at night, so... We'll have to set up a watch because we're getting kind of close to their territory. Well, you are lucky is that Tamazon never sleeps. I'm going to open the rest of my eyes a little bit. The robot never sleeps, and I <laughs> don't sleep. You don't have to call him that. You don't need to be an asshole. <laughs> this is what you call him. What is this? Yes, he has a name, Elf Man. <laughs> so the is question it? is, do you want to push on? Do you want to turn left into Cattle Bleep's territory where the hungry don't go? Or do you want to stop and make camp for here's, the night? Here's, here's the question. <coughs> Especially when you put it like that. Why don't they go into where the Cattle Bleepuses are? Well, Cattle Bleepus are ornery creatures. More so than the hungry. Uh, the hungry don't eat Cattle Bleepus. Yeah, but Why? Is it because they're super scary? I mean, you don't want to run into one if you can help it, but you don't want to run into hunger either. Maybe we train these catabolipus and help oh, them, uh, have them help us fight to these hungry. I mean, that doesn't sound like the worst idea. What if, yeah, can you can you pit them against each other? Do you ever, is there I mean, like a, a line where they they tussle? If the hungry were to be chasing us, I might run into catabolipus territory to try to shake them, but... The hungry. And if the catapleepus says, Sigh, we're chasing you, would you run into the hungry territory? And also, what kind of hungry? Maybe. You said the hungry take on the aspects of the creature it eats. Yeah. What well, kind of hungry are out in this area? The larger ones. The ones we saw last night. Yep. The ones that look like a tree. Yep. So I'd think that this isn't as easy. <laughs> He's so funny. What? Do, uh, how do? You, what do you think the decision is? I, I mean, I think it's easy too. But just out of curiosity, what? You, what? Which way are you leaning? Whatever Abner says. <laughs> really? Yes, we paid you, Abner. Guide us. Odds or evens. Well, I'll say evens are trolls and odds are cattle believers. Trolls. Well, uh, the hungry are a lot of things. Mean and ornery and all kinds of business. But you might be able to talk them out of eating you. When you say you, you mean you. Well, that's right. Oh, that seems like a no-brainer, like I said. Obviously, the better choice. Well, Cattle might leave you alone, too. This is exactly what I was thinking. But if they don't... It was not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Isn't we're, we're so just like see it we're, we're, we're bullshitting at each other as hard as we can. Yeah, yeah we knew all Adler, along. We paid you to be our guide and to guide us safely to the center of the swamp. Right. I, uh, first, I paid him. guide us <laughs> as we talk. <laughs> Everyone here is making sacrifices, but you. I hold my horn really <laughs> close to myself right now. Five days. Yeah, and that's why I that one. Fair enough. <laughs> I mean, mostly I'll try to get you through whatever hazard you pick. 
But this is where the journey gets iffy. Ah, let's get iffy. All right. It's up to you. What do you say, my man? You all about it? Last time I came through here, I chose the hungry. I bartered my way through. It'll cost some of my companions. Uh, but... Hmm. Cattle bleep. I'll look at the elf. <laughs> <laughs> the, cattle, cattle, look at that, man. <laughs> the cattle bleep is can't really be reckoned with if they decide that you're, you know, looking sort of tasty. Although most of them don't hang out all in a pack. Usually they kind of come in ones or twos. If you think that you can get us through the hungry, then we trust you. If you do not think you can get us through the hungry, maybe we go the other way because to Matamea. Might get us through the Catholic Plus. I might not be able to get us all through the hungry, if you know what I'm saying. I do not know what you are saying. Why don't you come out and say it? You have already said it's better to be just <laughs> honest. All right, fair enough. What I'm saying is, I might have to trade one of you ready fellers to him to get past. See, this is not a good deal. It's not a good deal. No. Unless one of us could escape. May have could. That's what I'm talking about. Tim Engineer Slippery will trade you. Well, now, see, let's just have a break. <laughs> I mean, that's not what I, exactly what I was saying. What I was thinking more is that you're very hardy, and you may be able to get away. I do not think this is it. No. Cattle bleep us? <laughs> no, you can't fuck with fate. We already rolled for it. Well, I'm just saying that's probably what I reckon, and that's what I did last time. But, really, you all are the clients, and you can choose your own way. I have not heard Axel's decision. Yeah. Trying to uh, if we get caught by the hungry and we have to fight, if it comes down to it, they're liable to chase us. At least as far as Old Man Mossy's domain. If we end up getting caught by some cattle bleepus and we kill a few, may have to scare them off. But we probably could trade one of you to the hungry to get by unmolested. Well, like I said, just like I, I, I knew it was easy choice right at the beginning. It's like the cataplepis, of course. Exactly. Yeah, if, I mean, this is obvious. So I don't know why we're still even talking about it. If we were guaranteed to fight, would you rather fight the troll, uh, the hungry, or would you rather fight the cataplepis? I believe he prefers the term swamp person. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not particular. <laughs> well, uh, um, I don't know. I guess it's a toss up, really. I say we go for the Catablepus because it's a guaranteed fight. It is not a guaranteed if fight. If he does right? not swing his hammer at least once a week, he gets to MC. Well, that's true. All right, well, um,. We're coming up on the fork now, so I'm just going to turn left then, if that's what you want. All right, yeah. What's, what, which way is left, though? Left is that way. He well, points to left. Yeah, I know which way that one, but what is the down that one? That's my right. Is that the blade? This is... Yeah. All right, let's saddle the folk up and do it. All right. We've already talked about it more than I thought. If we... the cat and blade pass are out, maybe we should make camp tonight, so we uh, are not... Guaranteed fighting in the night. Oh, if we make camp, we'll have to hide someplace. See if we can find some place to go to ground. We'll get off the water because hungry will be out. I thought this was the third option. <coughs> it is. Do <coughs> you believe you could hide us? Mm, I could try. It's not really my thing, but I'd give it a go. How do you hold up when you go long without a rest? You say you're willing to push through, but what does uh, what does that do for one of your stature? Do you require do you require to sleep? Sleep's good, but I'm a hardy sort. I can go a day or two if I have to. Hmm. I don't advise that. <laughs> <laughs> Let's fucking do it. Let's go get them the cattles. Will we not go into camp for the night? I, I feel like we're talking our ways in circles. I thought that was a shite idea, and we're just going to keep on going. That's what I, I thought. I can see in the dark. I can see in the dark. 
I don't have to see in the dark. <laughs> I sleep. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, yes. Well, all right. I don't even know why we bother talking. This obviously the right choice <coughs> is to camp for the night. Well, it's the only thing can, that you can do. All lights off in the night. You can see in the dark and navigate us. Oh, you want me to keep on sailing while you while you sleep? I do not sleep. Okay, so we're going to push through then, or are we going to camp? I think we're undecided. I'll be taking a nap right on this raft, and I lay down, and I'll shut my eyes. I'll tie a rope around something and tie it to him just in case. Oh, <coughs> wait. Do I have the... Did you give me it in yeah. the morning? Oh, yeah. Um, so he can make plus one armor, plus one sword, and a cloak of a manta. Leveling up, I got a third one. He nice. gave him all to me, so okay. I have a cloak of a manta right now. You're our designated swimmer. Yep. Okay, so he's like, all right, pushing through. I imagine we can that's push through. obviously the only sensible thing to do. <laughs> all right, then, I guess. <laughs> so he steers <laughs> to the left, and you guys, as you're nearing Cattle Bleepus territory, you can tell it gets like just muckier. The swamp seems more dead than alive. It starts to smell really horrible. And you can see, he's like, oh, we got some company. Look over there to the right. Well, that didn't take very long at all. Well, there's a couple hungry on the far shore looking oh, at the raft. <laughs> he slaps your hand down. And he's <laughs> like, what the hell's wrong with you, boy? We're almost into the bleepers. He's like, hey, cuz. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> One of them growls. I don't think he knows you. Oh, he knows me all right. That's why he's not happy to see me. Ooh. Are they likely to attack? Nah, they won't come aboard unless we stop here. Mm-hmm. And as we're sailing under the Weebus' uh, sort of home on the range, so to speak, they'll probably let us go by. Can they not swim? Well, they swim. About as well as he does. Or I do. But, uh, you know. He actually be, swims really well. There could be a... There could be a cattle bleep us in this water right here. So. Hot shit, they swim. Yeah, they do. <laughs> Why are Remember, you shouting? Quiet. He but, said to be quiet. I thought, say quiet. I thought, I've been dangling my feet in the water. Well, that's every, every time. time. Every do you recommend is... anything to use against cattle bleep us? Should we see any? Are they weak to fire, similar to the hungry are? <laughs> Who the fuck say isn't weak to fire? No, they just take a whole lot of killing, so that's about it. What? Fire does not affect me like others. Just from my heritage. (coughs) Pretty neat trick. If you... I imagine it's not water. That's a rate, too. So, uh... Just so you know. Put a spear through the bellies. You want to take off the head, and if you get, if you can manage it, try not to let them look you in the eye. And why well, is this? Do they look you in the eye, or you look them in the eye? No, no, you don't can want you to look them, them in, in the, the eye. Feet? No, you don't. If they get the chance to get a good look at you, and they can aim their peepers on you, they can turn your flesh to rot. So... I think, Let's watch I think what that. we established here is that the only sensible thing <laughs> is to, to go, go to through the hungry. The fuck you do if they look at you? Left. It's too late now, son. <laughs> no, we can, we can, you're paddling just fine. You can go back the other way. I'm not paddling. I'm just letting the water take you. You decided now to tell us this information? Yeah, that seems a little bit underrated. Well, I mean, I'm just saying. They're both horrible. Chicken shit. <laughs> Chicken shit. <laughs> So what you are saying he's talking is to look at yeah. them. He's, he must be having another one of his sex dreams. If they're, if they're within about a, a spear's throw, maybe 30 feet of you, uh, they can give you the evil eye. Burn flesh right off you. Uh, especially if you're not very hardy. But they need to saying. look into the eyes. No, no, they just need to get a good look at you. They just need to look at you. Right, yeah. So they do not need to look into the eyes. So I no, pull the blanket best. up over me. <laughs> I hide under the blanket. <laughs> it's, it's best if you can sneak up on them, if you know what I mean. If you're going to hunt bleepus, you got to sneak up on them. 
They stink, like that death mixed with swamp gas and skunk musk. But they can be in the water. They could be. They could be right under us right now. They have a long serpentine neck. They have trouble lifting their head, but one look can rot the flesh right off of you. And at the end of their tail is a bony protrusion, like a club, that can rattle your body and soul if it strikes true, leaving you unable to act. If you die, they eat you. Everything out here seems to want to eat you. I mean, that's the nature of things out here. Some wise men say that the gods of pestilence and rock created cattle bleep as that as embodiments of their influence. No one really knows. You can tell he's kind of spinning the tail. Mm -hmm. Whatever the origin, stories link the cattle bleep as to misfortune and ruin. And many of these yarns have elements of truth in them. I'm going to try to keep my awareness on my surroundings <laughs> yeah. as he's talking. <laughs> he's doing the whole like... And the guy with the claw got away from the mental institute. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm I'll be watching ahead of us, trying to get a good like. It's dark out. You don't right? want him to look at you. Get everyone, get down. It's dark out. Hey, yeah, what it's about dark you? Out. you got, so you... sixty feet ahead, I'll be trying to. Keep Ax, my you should probably take point up. on this. You ain't, you ain't okay. got flesh to turn to rot. Do you? I believe I can watch our six. Are you? Usually Some good. legends say that those of impure heart contain the cattle. I thought bleepus. you were saying we needed to be quiet. Impure or pure? Impure. But would you would you classify any of us as that? Some tales circulate of malevolent warlocks and death knights who have discovered how to domesticate these beasts and use them as fell mounts. Onza, perhaps we can just be quiet for the rest of the night and. Pass by without any trouble. Well, we'll see what happens. So it's a quiet game. They can smell you. It's a quiet game. <laughs> and you're not afeard, are you, son? You're not, Chicken shits. You're not making it any better. <laughs> they like rock and decay. They look for dead things to feast upon. So if there's any, if you have any dead meat on, you best throw it over now. They be attracted to whatever. Is what about coming to you? no? That's I mean, we got a jerky stuff like that. Port rations. He goes in his pack and he throws some meat in the water. <laughs> if you don't eat by now, best be done with it. Mm. Like a bear to peanut butter. How how far is it? Are we expected? I peek up under my blanket. <coughs> um, how long are we expected? Well, I'm not sure, but after that, eight or nine hours moving to their territory. Yeah, but how how far to the center? Oh. Like a week or a day? Or we, we still got a, a couple more days to go. I'm gonna shake Tomat away quietly. I eat four days worth of meat rations. <laughs> 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 Stuff my fucking guts. I shake this guy up quietly. He's like, son, you do the hunger proud. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I just gotta eat it all now. What are you doing? I'm gonna be, then I'm gonna dump the rest. You must get rid of the meat that you carry. Why? What is going on? The cattle bleep ass can track you. Away. Good! Let him come to me. You need to be quiet. No! You be quiet. You woke me up. I believe he should go back to sleep. Quiet. Alright. And I'm gonna... <coughs> go back to sleep. I will take care of it. Okay. No, you're going to throw away my meat. Yes. No. <laughs> yes. At some point, you guys hear something that sounds like a tuba that's been stepped on. It's like... Yeah. From where? From ahead of you. I go back to keeping aware of my surroundings. And I'll start eating my meat. And I put, put the hood back on. There back under the blanket. <laughs> well, he takes his hat out, puts it on his head, pulls out his sword... Wait, is it time? Almost, friend, almost. Say the word, Adner. Get ready. Is the creature in the water? Pardon me? Is the creature in the water? Most likely they'll try to come upon us unawares. Would it not be better to go to the shore? We could. We could put in here and switch to walking on land. They'll 
slow our travel some, but at least we see him coming. But if we do do it long enough to wait out his labors and... Can we carry as a raft? Are you silly, son? It's 10 by 20 feet, made of serious lumber. It's really strong. I don't think we can portage this baby. We're not bridgemen. Can't pull that off. Yeah. We could. Then travel by land. We could. At some point, we're going to have to swim, but that's doable. I would rather walk on dry land than be... Up in a swamp? to buy a cattle bleep Oh, shit. That can happen. It can come up underneath the raft. Well, Knock over the raft. No, they probably can't tip us, but they're liable to try to come upon us unawares. In our wake, like. How big are those creatures? I think like a large oxen. Big. They could tip the raft just by jumping onto it. Well, you can't jump on. What's it? So I start chucking shit out. <laughs> All the meat out the back. <laughs> Do you get rid of the baby? No. Okay. <laughs> cool. And I, I'm gonna keep. It's always. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep fall. some of the meat too. <laughs> I keep some of the meat. Okay. <laughs> but I, I make a show of throwing a lot of it away. Okay. I keep throwing out anything that's um, giving off scent. He's like, well, they got our scent now. Yeah, it's too late for that. You want to go to shore? We can go to shore. Okay. So he runs the raft aground. Everybody off is getting off. Get Wait, so that's an option to not get off. Stupid. I uh, you can stay. stay. Hop. <laughs> <laughs> like, you can stay here if you like to. Keep the blanket over me. <laughs> <laughs> and I just look occasionally. I don't want to get a good look at me. Does this work? Is this... Well, I, I bet they're more likely to see you or perhaps him. Yeah, these are big blokes. Abner tries to anyway. get stealthy. Same. Yeah, uh, I'll I'll try to get stealthy. Oh, let's get fuck. fucking stealthy. <laughs> okay, so he rolls. See what Sire Taylor has to say to it. That's amazing. <laughs> roll? A natural one. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Did you roll another one? No, but it was five. True match. So you think you're totally hit? Yeah. You're like, I'm good. They'll never see this blanket. I got Yeah. You oh. feel like Frodo with the dwarf elven cloak on. Like, mm-hmm. you're like, oh, yeah. We this flannel win. blanket is awesome. Uh, I rolled a 14 for stealth. Okay. I rolled an 18. Okay. I got 11. Nice. Two. All right. So Abner's like, before he disappears, he's like, keep moving in a straight line, parallel the river. I'll be close. All right, and then so. he steps into some foliage yeah. and just kind of like fades yeah. from view. And I'm yeah, taking so. taking a bunch of like earth and whatever, and I'm just like putting it all over my body. I right pull now. the hood down, okay, and I walk in a straight line. Dirt mud. Yep. Okay. That way. <laughs> the way you're supposed to go. No, no. I pull the hood down, and that's <laughs> he's going the wrong way. I, I, <laughs> I grab him by the collar. <laughs> okay. Try to guide him towards where we're going. Take one has got me. <laughs> All loud and shit. <laughs> Ooh, man. Yeah. All right. Don't you fucking grab me. I, what are you? This is not the time for your pranks. I really want to slap him. Right <laughs> in the face. What? You rolled you a two. <coughs> no, I rolled a natural one. I botched. Oh, oh yeah. Boy, I still want to slap him. I, I full botched. Okay. I'm going to try to cover his mouth when he does that. Just like, boom. Just gonna I mean, punch you me in don't. The face. Like, he, he rolled a one. So I he's just like loud. At the end. So he's like, stop, 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 We need to be quiet. You guys hear some splashing in the water. It would be a lot easier if you don't drop my ass. Yeah, there is a roll for initiative. I hope my hands smell like ass. <laughs> they do. They <laughs> stuck up your nostrils. <laughs> How far from the water are you guys? You rolled a natural 20. That's Wherever amazing. To go. <laughs> All I had to do was jump out of here. Abner just said to move parallel to the river. He didn't really talk about how far away. He did tell you they can look 30 feet. Well, to move parallel to the river, do you have to be okay. close enough to know oh, where three. it's at? Mm-hmm. I would follow his lead as the survivalist. Okay. So how close to the river are you? I don't know. We're, I thought we were just kind of getting out. 
Oh, you guys are walking around for a little bit, trying to hide and shit and be quiet. Oh, well, I mean, we're staying within the distance he was said. We're in. Yeah. I'm kind of by Adner, I guess. He, he kind of disappeared. He hid. He sure. went into the fit. Um, thirty-two feet away from the edge of the water. <laughs> so nice. The bleep is rolls a sixteen. Yeah, he's gonna go first. Um, so, what Ryan? Imagine. Eleven. Abner rolled a six. He's hiding so well. <coughs> yeah. I've got my hand over Temujin's mouth as he's. Yeah, Brian's first because he rolled the natural twenty. Oh man, what do you do? You hear it coming out of the water. Splash, 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 splash. It's like coming. Oh. I get so that he is between me and the water. Okay, you so were already that him. way because I had my hand over your mouth. Oh. So you're going to hide oh, behind him? <laughs> oh, look at the earthquake. <laughs> oh, no. We'll settle down in about a year. Yeah, yeah. Right. That was great. That's... <laughs> I mean, I think that's the first time that's ever happened. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that just looks pretty just funny. <laughs> it's just the two of the three of us, right? Yeah, you're you're separate. Yep. <laughs> but Josh is doing this. So it's pretty funny. <laughs> like, ah. kind of like the uh, Star Trek. <laughs> yeah, the bridge right? just. Ah. <laughs> Everyone grabs something. Um. Okay. That had to be the weirdest thing to act out. Just <laughs> act like you're... Boom! <laughs> yeah. Ah. Um, all right, so I am going to... Yeah, I'll... So I was already on the far side of him? Yeah. All right, then I'm going to use him like cover and blast at the <laughs> sounds. Okay, so ah. you can see it coming out of the water. You can see like the serpent head rising out. It's like splashing forward. It's making the horrible trumpeting noise. You blast away. Do your thing. Blast away. I'm gonna fucking die. Um, I'm gonna go out on a limb and see. That's a miss. Uh, so is that fourteen? Can I have two more d sixes? No. Natural twenty. He has the dice bags right next to you. Oh, it is. It is right next there. All right. So you so, blast so, him. You fuck him up. Did you crit? Uh, yeah. Nice. Um, I'm assuming a fourteen doesn't hit though. Uh, it does hit. Oh, sweet. They're so, not hard to they're so not hard hit. to hit. And then I they're hard to be around. So uh, <laughs> the first one yep. is woo, max damage, around. so 15. Holy shit. Unfortunately, that's not the crit. So you're like blam. And then I hit it one more time with um wait, so I double the dice. 6 yep. plus 7 13 so plus thir- 5 is thir- 18. 18. Yep. Yeah, plus, five. Five. Is it plus, plus five. Plus four. Or is it a plus one? I got a plus one. Plus one. Rod. Eighteen. So Rod thirty-three. Yeah. So you're you're a damage dealer. I'm just it's like, like ah, the oh, lamp. Lamp. It's like sclero, sclero, takes you. You want to head. set it up? I literally have a can of bleepus behind. It's right behind your head. Really? Yeah. I really do. You do. Oh my gosh, you do. You have three. That's great. No, that's not. Great. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't need to grab all of them. Bleepus it. They're terrifying things. Bleepities. Bleep it out. So this thing is running out of the water, and you guys are a little over 30 feet away. Yeah, so right. I'm I'm right behind. You're behind um, this guy. Yep. Um, is this uh is this where's you? This is gonna be you. Whatever. Alright, and it's coming out. We're all together like that? I mean, or you're are you not? Tell me where you are. Well, I was with I was kind of like following Abner's. And mm-hmm. disappeared. He went into the woods and disappeared. Okay. We'll use this guy for Amber. He, but he's not there. You don't know where he is. Okay. I guess that's fine. Okay. Is this what you guys want? You want to be different than this? It's about right. Yeah, sure. Do you want to be a little bit more like this? Spread out. Yeah. Spread I was out. kind of following Tamat's lead. Okay. So you were closer to Tamat. I definitely did say I was following the survivor. You're behind him. You did say that. Where are you going to be at? Oh, yeah. That looks good. Okay. All right. Cool. And where are these things? So blast, blast. Uh, well, one of them is coming out of the water. That's one. Spadoosh. Yeah, they're not okay. things. They're just thing. So it can run thirty. Where's pencil? Pass me pencil. And I said we're thirty feet away. So right. Yeah. So you're sort of thirty, thirty-two feet away or something. Yeah. He's gonna get like right there. 
Oh my god. All the bonds. <laughs> when he's running up. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. <laughs> so he's hungry for elves. Thank god. Um, that's I mean that's what I hid behind. Con- you. Constitution saving throw. <sighs> I can't get a negative constitution. I do not have a... In fact, I just skilled it up, too. That's good. With my ability mod increase. That's good. Very good. Did I? You got this. Did you do it? I did, but it's only a plus two now. (laughs) (laughs) It used to be a plus one. But my... I'm in... Roll well, homie. Roll well. Thank God. 16. Nice. That's awesome. You turn into a meat popsicle. So, so <laughs> no, I don't turn into a meat popsicle. Oh my god! Jesus. You're gonna take half of this. So ten. It's like half a fireball. Twenty. <laughs> Twenty-seven. So you're oh, gonna take thirteen. I take half. That's good. Thank god. Yeah, we well say take thirteen. So it does look at you, and as it's looking at you, like you guys see the skin on his face start to like rot away and he puts out one of his hands like ah and you see the skin on his arm start flaking off that's very obviously eye beaming the fuck out of him oh jesus and then one two three four five six (gasps) can do it again four (laughs) (laughs) no it doesn't do that Uh. it's gonna tail whip the shit out of him (laughs) so it turns its tail's reach of ten feet and it's like skabow it swings its ass around far more nimbly than it looks like it should be able to for a monster of its size. And 26 to his. Wow. Man, this is rough. <laughs> With a hunger for you. Well, you were being all out and shit. It hurt you. And so and this is like... Right behind it. Fuck, yeah, fuck this dude. You must make a lot of noise. And it smells the yummy stuff in your bag. So it's going to go through him to get to you, I guess. Uh, <laughs> Dude, real bad. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, plus five is 13, plus four is 17 damage, and you have to make another constitution saving throw. Love <laughs> 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 it. Okay, so you're stunned until the start of its next turn. Oh no, this is so bad. <laughs> you hate being stun locked until you die. <laughs> it's going to be four rounds of this. It was a fun game, guys. Now it's Julio's turn. No, it's not. All right, oh, who's next? Okay. He's stunned until the Kettle Beep is his next turn. Yeah, it's his turn next, so he's stunned. Yep, done. Uh, um, and then it's me. Um, so it just runs up, melts a bunch of flesh off of him, and swings its hammer-like tail around and clocks him in the side of the head hard enough that he goes down to one knee and looks like he's all fucked up. <laughs> Is it within melee distance of me? Now you got to move in because you guys are a little spread out. Uh, bonus action. I am going to cast Sanctuary on Elio. Sweet. If you're a good friend. I uh, think... Unless there's light, we still have disadvantage on all attacks in dim vision. Am I correct? In dim light? Mm. It's probably going to cancel itself out, right? I mean, we would, but not people that can't see at all, right? The cattle bleepus is just, we'll just call it fair, because he's smelling you out. Oh, I wasn't talking about him, I was talking about us. To hit it. I'll say that the moonlight is shining down on this part of the swamp and you don't have it. It's a dim light, so you will have disadvantage because you don't have dark vision. But anybody with dark vision can see passably enough. Okay. I forget if I have dark vision. I don't think I do. Hmm. Well then. Well, that's your torch. (laughs) Yeah, somebody yank a torch out. Ow! Although if you do, you risk alerting more of these beasts. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to... Move. I can't see. Rob. Hello, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I can see. Can you see now? Uh, as an action, I'll drop the turret. I'll do a uh, defender turret. Okay, so... Uh, defender turret. Kachink, what do you drop it? Like right here between you guys? 
Uh, I'm gonna move back like uh, 15 feet. Okay. And drop it as I go. So like right, right here. where I was. Right here. Yep. Okay. Uh, <coughs> yeah, and I'll walk 10 feet away from it so that I'm within range of it. And everyone, 10 feet away. Yep. Everyone gets five temporary hit points. Everybody within what? Within 10 feet of it. Okay, so it's not you. <laughs> five temporary? Not who? Not Tamat. You guys were spread out. He's too far away. Oh, is he ten, more than 10 feet? He is more than 10 feet. Okay, so yeah, he wouldn't get it then. Right, you're going to be like... 10 feet right there. You're not as far as you thought you were. If you okay. were 5 feet away, 10 feet away. Okay. Uh, that's my action bonus action, so that's me. Okay. Uh, next is... My, me. My, me. My, uh, me. It's Abner first. Oh, yeah, Abner. <coughs> Abner. <coughs> Abner. Okay. So... He comes charging out of a clump of trees back here and engages with the kettle bleepus. Oh, the flank. Oh, man, he crits and hits. So 10, 14, 17, plus 5, 22. And then... Is that the crit? uh, Yeah. And then 9 plus 5 is 14. He does not light his sword on fire. So it's only perception and dim light, by the way. It's disadvantage. Not attacks. Okay. Not attacks. Oh, great. That's good to know. Uh, no, I think it still is. <laughs> nope, just disadvantage and wisdom checks. But in a heavily obscured area, just like darkness, you're blind. Okay. So darkness is bad. If darkness it were dark. Is really bad. If it were dark. Yeah. All right. Okay. After Abder is Tamat. Rage. Frenzy. Let's go. All right, man. So you're doing it. You get in there. And so I get advantage then. Right? Uh, Two attacks. Reckless. Reckless. Oh, yeah. I'm reckless. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Let's do this. Bing bong, bing bong, bing. Um, you don't get your bonus two. action attack this turn. No, not no. Two attacks. Two attacks. Uh, oh, that's I'm a crit. You crit. Actually, that's probably a bonus action too. Yeah. I'm not gonna do great no. bonus. Great people master. Yep. Probably it's really easy to hit that him. one. It's really easy to hit him. So yep. he did hit with a fourteen. Well, I'm not gonna do it this time. Uh, Doesn't really matter. So that advantage. I was a nineteen and seven is twenty six. <coughs> Yeah, do it. Second one is uh, a nineteen, or yeah. actually more than whatever. You hit it. But you hit it. Yep. I it hit trumpets it loudly head. as you're hacking into it. Oh man! Three and four is seven, and two is nine. Okay. What a beast! Oh, I, I'm sorry. Yep. Yep. That's right. And then. I'm sorry. Four and four is eight, and two is ten. Okay, you drop it. (sighs) How do you want to kill it? Uh, Fucker was easy. He told you how. So I wait for that. (laughs) So I just (laughs) hit it over the head, and then I go (coughs) ahead. It 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 kind of like its head kind of goes up, and it's just like that, and then I just. Over the head, smash it right into the ground. Okay, smash, smash. So his ass end is hanging up. Okay. I'm glad to be of service to everyone. <laughs> you took it like a champ. I'm gonna look around for more in case the uh, loud <laughs> bleeping. The trumpet. Yeah. Oh. I look at the elf man. Snap out of it, elf man. Oh yeah, that'll do it right there. <sighs> hey, would you mind cutting out that? It's vocal box. That that trumpet sounded great. Uh, so I take the <coughs> I'm just hatchet. Disgusting. So I'm just, I just take the hatchet, and I don't know if we're in initiative or we're breaking it for a second. I mean, we'll break it. Okay. So I just start hacking away at this vocal box. He did say he wanted to take the heads off. I was joking about that vocal cord. And I'm just but. like, sweet Ur, what's wrong with you? Leave it alone. It's dead. If you get its mess all over you, its friends will find it that much easier to track us. Maybe you'll think it's one of us. Or one of them. 
No, I don't think so. Death smells like death. I'm going to do a couple cure wounds on you. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Ryan's uh, ass kicking. It does. 16 health man. back. But it could have been a lot worse. If you had failed the saving throw by five or more, it's real bad. I know. Real bad. So bad. I'm the one that put you against him last time. Yeah, it's, it's real bad. It's really bad. This is like just Josh's like revenge tour. tour. Back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it makes perfect sense. They're swamp creatures. It's what they are. Sure. And they're the same CR as a troll? They are. <laughs> There's a difference. Trolls don't insta-kill you. <laughs> <laughs> well, you did that. But well, we could have we chosen the trolls. <laughs> it was pretty close. Yeah. The trolls don't just they save you till later. Do we get back on the raft now? All right. Abra's like, we're, we're going back on the raft. I thought you guys wanted to walk. Why in. would we go back on the raft? Well, we took out the one in the water, did we not? Well, there's a lot more than one, friend. Do we wait? Do we count, count to How much did you kill me for? 16. Do we wait and see if, if there's more coming? Or do we keep moving? Or do we just get away from the carcass? Maybe we should not shout and yell and draw them to us. Agree. Uh, I say to you with a glare. <laughs> I mean, that seems like good advice. <coughs> as good as maybe not getting hit in the face by a catablepus. <laughs> that seemed like a poor choice. Well, I'm glad laughs. to be. <laughs> <a> <laughs> <body> <laughs> starts walking away. I am glad to be a body bag to your cowardice. You are a body bag. Reckon we should leave, friends. All right, let's get out of here. I agree. And I start following Adner. And I walk away you from the You have one little exhaustion. <laughs> uh, yeah. And I thought I want to get back on the raft. <laughs> God damn it. Are you slow yet? Or are you nope, just like... Too. Okay. Next time. I <laughs> thought that was going to be a bigger party. Yeah, I do um, not so walk near Can him. I frenzy at any point in my rage? Or do I have to declare it at the... You declare point? it when you rage, I'm pretty sure. Yep. When you rage, you can choose the frenzy. So you don't always have to do it. I don't always frenzy, but when I do... Yeah. <laughs> right. I choose those like Yeah, I thought they had more hit points than that. But um, we did get two crits on it, so... Somebody said that you're supposed to cut their heads off or something, right? Is that a thing? That was Abder. Abder just said, like, basically cut off his head if you he want He said to aim it. for its head when you fight it. Right. Oh, okay. But, Come on, did it. So yeah, he did, he did <laughs> aim for the head. It aimed for my head. <laughs> and it got your head, too. I don't know how long it passes, but uh, it's more than a minute. Sanctuary wears off of you. So it's going to wear off. Okay. All right. So you guys trying to be sneaky? Yeah. yeah. Abdur will try to be sneaky. Uh, we got disadvantage again, don't we? We always have disadvantage. Yep. Oh, do we? <coughs> Half place does disadvantage. Oh, I didn't do well. <gasps> yeah. Oh. You take the lower. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. <laughs> oh, no. We just both rolled 20s for our high. Well, what was your lows? I don't want to tell you. You have to <laughs> tell me. Uh, six. Okay. 50. All right. Fifteen. I got a four. Wow. All right. Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm taking samples from the catablepus, and I'm not the one giving us away. <laughs> right. Uh, all right. You must have got catablepus brain all over you, mm. and some of it splashed. Uh, nah, you were farther away. You're just loud. Cling, cling, cling. How long have we been traveling after this fight of, well, actually, I'm the only one that got just obliterated. Yeah, your ass handed to you. I don't know, you guys have been traveling for another 15, 20 minutes. Oh, my God. I'm going to use my bonus action heal. <laughs> Do it now. Since we're not taking a rest. <laughs> okay. I don't feel so good. How much more are you down? Well, I'm at 38 of 52, hmm. but I just gained 14. There you go. <coughs> there cool. you go. Ta-da. Abra's like, best if we press on. Yeah, oh, good. yes. I, uh, I agree. You just woke up. Uh, you're you all right, friend. To, I'm just a little... Uh, I got a little excited back there. A Did you warm. get rid of all the meat? Yeah, I get sleepy after I'm excited too. 
They can track us. <clears throat> Did everyone get rid of all the meat? <coughs> Did you count the meat on him? <coughs> you got some splash damage. Got to kind of bleep us okay. head to toe on you. So, at some point during the walk, Abder sniffs a little bit. And he goes, well, I got bad news and I got worse news. What just, do you want first? Just do it in order. Just rip us a band-aid off. Well, the bad news is I think that we have someone tracking us. Maybe a cattle bleepus or two. Or two. No, it's possible. Oh, that is great news. I yeah. just... <laughs> you just look, you're like, oh, God. <laughs> I feel my face. It's still there. <laughs> it's all busted. <laughs> on my teeth. No, I'm all healed now. But I know what it feels like. It feels awful. You probably heard me scream. <laughs> He's like, so... I think there's a pair of them. Maybe they're mates. We could turn and try to take them. Or we could keep on trucking, hope they leave us alone. But uh, if we can't get free of them, they might pull friends. Well, they not eat yeah. with... We left the corpse? Well, that's easy food for them. They can eat him whenever. Yeah. We're getting away. We got more. What if we go knee-high in the water just to try to lose their scent? Knee-high for who? You can ride on too much. Without work, else. you think? Yeah, but I don't over. know. I mean, we might be able to get into the water. We might be able to ditch them, but they also might follow us in and then ambush us. Yeah, we. How about we set a trap? We could just leave some of this cataplepis corpse. I got the jawbone right here. We just we leave that out, it. and oh then. My God, why did you keep the? And jawbone? then they'll stop and inspect it, and we can blast the fuck why out. Would you That's keep right, the Tamajin. Let's do Tamajin's why? idea. Why did you keep the jawbone? I mean, it was hanging off. It was, just, it was about to. He, he did some right, terrible well, things to the throne. We are lucky that he kept the jawbone. Yeah, now we got a reason for them to stop and check and inspect something. All right, we're gonna have to be sneaky about it. Yes, sneaky. Can you, can you all be sneaky? You smell like a dead animal. Right? You are loud as like all fly. get out. And I take some more mud and I'm just like <laughs> plastering the all mud right. right all over myself. All right, well, that's catabolic shit. That's not mud. <laughs> Is it catabolic shit? <laughs> <laughs> I can't tell you would dark. Oh yeah, I know it. Okay. It smells horrible. <coughs> Wherever we lay this ambush, I am going to be very far away. All right, yeah, we can, we can wait by a tree. We can set it up that way if you want to. Yeah, you can climb up a tree? Can you climb well? To bleep us is climb well. As long as it's not the I, I a rickety old swamp nah, tree. Bleep us is don't <laughs> climb. They just stare the tree down. Oh yeah, fuck. We should if all get up in a tree. you got turned into meat sauce up there, and then you fell the whole way out, I'd be, I'd be a bad fool. And where are Don't you let them look at you. Hey, hard, do you want to hide behind this blanket? Have a hard time looking up, but if they do, you'll be sad about this it. The neck is like a one of those creatures that have a long neck, so dr- like a serpent. Graphs? Gerbils. It's a giraffe. What's a what's a giraffe? It's a creature has a long neck. Wait, what? he knows bubblegum, but he doesn't know giraffe. What's, Come on, yeah. man. <laughs> There's a giraffe in the what, what was that other one you were calling? Is that is that like a a camp? Bowl? Anyhow, we're coming up on a tree. So with the humps, this might be your time for him. Yeah. Getting Go ahead. I climb. <laughs> you try to. <laughs> I try to. I'm, I'm really to good too. at this. Can I help wait, you? you're gonna climb too. You weigh five thousand uh, pounds. Twelve. I mean that's enough. You it's ungangly and it looks unexpert, <laughs> but you like scrabble your way up into a tree. I probably like flip myself up with the last second with my acrobatics, but it's rough. What's Does up? the tree look uh, sturdy enough to hold me? I mean it's dead, but you can try and climb it. Hmm. You don't look impressed. I'll stay by the tree. Oh. Okay, you stay down on the ground by the tree. All right, how high up do you go? That's it. It's a fifteen feet. foot tree. That's so you just get off the ground. Well, do I have to roll again? Yeah. That's it. Okay, so you're like 10 feet up. <laughs> My strength is negative one. I'm lucky I rolled that. Okay. Temujin, That's would 10 you feet like further to go from the tree? Um, no, I'm going to... I got, I got to set up the, the area first. So I'm going to lay down the jawbone. We'll there. call this the tree. Mm. I have trees over there. Do you really have it? Uh, Not one that can hold a mini. Yeah, it is. Where? Right there. Oh, oh. You, even the dead ones. And there are swamp trees. Dead swamp, swamp tree. Dun, dun. Tree. Love a good swamp tree. That is a good swamp tree. And 
You are in the swamp tree. Just hang me right there. No. All right. Oh. Swamp tree. Adder's going to try and hide. Can I try to hide behind the tree? All right. You can. Roll me a hide. <laughs> why, guys? Uh, why? Natural one, but not a botch. <laughs> okay, so you're just like, I'm here. <laughs> I picked the wrong side of the tree. Yeah, That's all right, actually. Here. You're like, you guys I'm keep, here. keep rolling those ones, please. All right. <laughs> what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my blanket, the aborted vegetable fetus, and I'm going to hide them under a blanket, and I'm going to put that out as bait. Where? Right where the purple dye is. Right here? Yeah. Okay. And so that is going to be like a blanket, like trying to hide those things. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then if we're being followed from that way, mm -hmm. uh, come over here. <laughs> okay, so you're going to go over here. <laughs> All right, where are you? Uh, <laughs> you're where, do we, where do we think that? Coming from that way, from, this from Josh. Way. Okay. Yeah, I'm behind the tree. Like, we're being sneaky, dude. Okay. And, like, I'm just, like, piling on mud and, like, whatever I can just all over myself. Okay. And take out my... Smearing my, yourself with cattle bleepus shit. Got it. It's whatever, dude. It's not... It, it might, I don't, I'm trying to avoid cattle bleepus oh, shit. Oh, snap. Abder is in trouble. At least it's him Why are you time. hiding under the blanket? <laughs> yeah, that's the right? trap. <laughs> that, that's, that's supposed to be the trap. <laughs> he comes over here to hide and horrible shit is going to happen. You guys are going to lose your guide probably. Mm. What? What did he roll? He didn't roll a natural 20 to find him. That's huh? what happened there. They rolled a natural 20 to find him. Oh. <laughs> they, they see him right away. Supplies! Yeah. So Dig a dig a dig a dig a dig a. One of them runs into him, and one of them starts charging this way towards the blanket and starts fucking the blanket uh, up. Rolling a new initiative? Yeah, let's do it. Cattle Bleepus rolls a natural 20. Jesus. Which one? <laughs> <laughs> Was it the finder? Both of them. Oh, God. <laughs> These guys are on some shit. Oh. Abner, Abner rolled the four. Well, well, two plus two. After is 20 he is... holding my scimitar of speed? What'd you get? No, <laughs> he gave the candle and the scimitar of speed to uh, Larry's to trade. Well, in damn. case you guys don't come back. I was hoping to get it back from his dead corpse. <laughs> Such a goodbye. <laughs> oh, I knew it when I gave it away. Yeah. What are I going to get? 19. 19. Okay, so first is Catablepus. Okay, so Catablepus 1 swings his tail and fucks up the blanket. Figures out it's not what he wants it to be. You want a rage frenzy again? No way, dude. <laughs> Runs towards the tree. Digga, 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 digga. So he can see you or you. One, two. I'm going to say one, two, three, and four. Oh, my God. Oh, okay. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> Constitution save. I mean, I'm probably better tailored for that, but I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. Fuck you, Actually... Man. He is our healer. Yeah, you want him to. Uh, live. 17. Oh, thank God. Okay, you make the save. Take half damage. Four, five, six, seven, eight. God, that's so brutal. It's bad. <gasps> Ten. Oh, my God. That was, uh, that was a five. Uh, that was a four. It's 20. So 10? Nope. 30. 15. So 15? Yep. Whee! It beams you in the eye. You start rusting. This cattle bleepus <laughs> is going to beam Abder. Oh, thank God he saves. 5, 10, 15, and 6 is 21. So he's going to take 10. And then it's going to swing at him with its crazy tail. It misses. Woof. That's Abner all, all Abner's over there. Abner's over here fighting one by himself. Is he still alive? It ran out of nowhere. Yeah, he saved against the I-beam and it missed with this tail swing. God, I hope he has enough Don't get hit by that there. fucking tail swing. Oh, no shit. <laughs> What's up? Don't do anything. I hope he disengages and gets over here. To where? Probably not. Next to the other tail? All right. Uh, next <coughs> is Elio. Elio, do I see him? Is he within 60 feet of my dark vision? Uh... Yeah, I would say he's probably within 60 feet, just. Then I will give him a helping hand. Okay. And I will shoot. Twice. Soup, soup, soup. 
Two arrows into the cattle bleep bass. Take that, bleepus. Oh, yeah. So one crit, one hit. I'll roll the crit first. Wow. That's 18 damage on the crit. And then the hit is 12 damage on the hit. Jesus. I'll try to save our guide. I'll action surge and I'll <laughs> shoot twice more. Holy shit. I'm going to try to help him. Cool. Um, one more hit and then a 12. Is a 12 a hit? No. Oh, no. Five damage. So a little extra. All right, so soup, soup, soup. It lets out a trumpet. I. The trumpet's pretty loud. Yeah, they're fucking loud. Okay, then I shout to Temujin. He is down there. Hit him! And I try to point. I don't know if these are some can like see me. these are some bushes and shit right here that he was hiding in. This thing just charged right into the bushes and started fucking up horribly. Because <coughs> no one else can hit him. I don't think anyone else. After has range, he, but he's so short, he might not be able to see over those bushes. Who now? After Elio is uh, Tamat. Uh, how far can I get to Abner? Do I know where he is? Yeah, you can see this going down. It's fucking horrible. You can get up that far. Well, do you have dark vision? Oh, no, you can't see what's going on. You hear some bad shit. Do you have a torch lit? No. No, nope, I'm stealthy. I guess I rage and I go around the tree to... So you're like, fuck you in the... Rah! Rage! Cattle bleep ass. All right. Sorry, I'm trying to be the dark vision guy because that's always the hardest thing to remember. Yeah, that's a good call. And I hit him twice. All right. Um, Are you reckless? Yeah, what's what's the worst that could happen? <laughs> <laughs> you have a great con save. Bleep us in the face. I mean, what would Tamat do? He always. All right. I mean, you think... I mean, does he? I mean, this I mean, is, I this is a question for you. <laughs> You're, you know, what what would Tamat do? WWTD. No, he's just <laughs> going to hit twice. He's a little more, like, he's already, he knows, he's <coughs> learned that he okay. can't overexert <coughs> himself. Okay. So, no, it's not reckless. All right. And I'll go hit him twice, though. Go ahead, roll twice. R but I will do dice. great weapons master. Okay. So I'll still get minus. Plus, it's minus. Oh, yeah. We'll just see what happens. Uh, miss, miss. Okay. Well, I got, uh, What's yeah. your normal plus, plus to hit? Seven. So, so two plus, plus two. two. So 13 is his highest. 13. Nope. Miss, miss. Bummer. Nice swings. Yeah, bummer. <laughs> you <should laughs> reckless when you great weapons. Yep, shut up. That's the combo. Yeah. You got scared. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, oh. who's scared now? <laughs> huh? Do I lose my rage then? Or no, if you're next to him, you keep okay. raging, right? If who's you're next now? to somebody? Yeah, yeah and I think it's, you're going to get hit. You have to have <laughs> tried to attack or be attacked okay. the last time. He, he's yeah. going to hit you. Okay. So you'll be okay. Well, sure. he attacked, so he's also okay. Yeah. Uh, next is uh, Temujin. All right. I... <laughs> So I can see the bleepus over there? I mean, I think so. Yeah, you can see him. All right. So I make a fake looking glass, and then I bring it down to my mouth. Oh, shit. You do the And I whisper. Okay. Uh, so, so it needs to make a DC 16 wisdom save. Oh, they're not very wise. Oh, actually, they are very wise. Fuck. <laughs> Yeah. Come on. Nope, it fails. Yes. All right, so it's going to take 5d6, and then it runs with all deliberate speed direct away from me. Which is going to give it uh, Abner an attack of opportunity. So six, six, five. Holy 12, shit. 17. 17. Six. Holy shit. 23. 26. Oh my god. Okay. You say you never roll well. Just, just stop rolling d20. Well, it's just this, yeah, it's my d6 that's so you're properly just like, weighted. Uh, and as you're whispering, you see it like... Sarcophagus. Like, <laughs> and like, one of its eyes blows out and like muck leaks out of its skull and its ears start burbling shit. And it's just like, fuck this noise. Maybe Maybe there, no it? bass. <laughs> it doesn't kill it. 
Maybe Abner kills it? Maybe. Let's see. Come on, Abner. He misses. Oh, He's all fucked he up. He wasn't expecting it to run that way. Yeah, he was like, what the shit? <laughs> then he just takes off. <coughs> right, is that Temujin? Who's that? Uh, yeah. Next after Temujin is me. Has this one even been injured? Mm, no. No. Mm. Nope. It's, it is tough and looking healthy and all up in your barbarian's face real hard. Uh, I will move a little bit, like five feet away from the tree, so I don't get uh, tomat in the uh, line here. And I'll use uh, lightning strike. Okay. Uh, must make a DC 17 dex save. 17, damn. It oh. does. Man. Okay, so it takes half of 96. Damn, dude. 9 D. 9 D. 9 D. 6. 9 6 7 dice. <coughs> yeah. So that's 7, <coughs> seven 14 plus 7 uh, 21. 21. Yeah, 3 more. Oh, double ones. So 23, one more die. And then one more one. 24. Oh. And wow. half of that? Yep. So 12 damage. Started off really good. <laughs> okay. The fact that it saved was the worst part. Yeah. And I'll also... Uh, uh, yeah, I'll do Sanctuary on Barbarian. And what's that mean? Uh, when it uh, tries to attack you... Uh, it has to make a wisdom save. If it fails, it has to choose a new target or it loses its attack. Wait, what happens? Sanctuary. Oh, on yep. Tamat? Yep, yep. on Tamat. <coughs> Is it melee attack or any attack? Uh, it's any time it's targeted. Okay. So it would probably lose its melee attack, but it wouldn't. Well, it's hopefully not staring anyone down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That'll be easy to choose a new target. Yeah. That'll be easy to choose, but I'm trying to prevent him from being stunned, so... Uh, after me is Ab Abder. Get him, Abder. Chase him down. Go into the dark. That's yeah. a great idea. He does. <laughs> well, he he <laughs> runs after it. Why would you do that, Abder? Do you he's not a, know wisdom in the swamp? All he has to do is leave us right now, and we he, we, we imagine he's dead, and he gets to go home. No, he runs into the dark. You hear you him a girl. Uh, say something indecipherable, and his sword lights itself on fire. Mm. Oh, we can see now. You can see him. As What's he does battle radius? with the catablepus. What's the radius of his sword? That's ah, like a torch. Oh, so it's bright. He hits Number twice. <clears throat> I don't think that was the die he rolled. Uh -huh. So, eight and five. Thirteen, right? Uh, plus, yeah, eighteen. Jesus. Holy shit. Beast. Uh, and then Do 23 it. and 5 is 28. 18, He's pretty hurt. So he kills it. Slip, slip, you hear it. It goes down. But he lit a sword on fire. He did. You hear more trumpets in the surrounding swamp. Should we just purge the swamp of the Catablepus? Uh, um, next is the Catablepus. That's what it's to look like. Catablepus. <laughs> Burn the swamp to the ground. No, he does not recharge. Uh, thank God. Uh, what does he have to do to strike it to Uh So every time he targets him with an attack, he has to make a wisdom save. Okay. Against 14. That's interesting. Never use spell. It does not make the save. What happens? Uh, he has to choose good. another target. If he cannot make it another target, then it loses the attack. So he can't hit him. There's no one else close to him, so he has to lose it. All right, so it's going to move around this way. <laughs> I go to the tree. Get it. Oh, it just moves. That's sad. But yeah. it doesn't move out of my... He blew his attack. No. Nope. doesn't step away from That's you. That's a great spell if it works. Yeah, yep. if it works. And if no one else is right next to him. <laughs> right. Exactly. Next. Elio. He's not been hurt yet. Oh wait, no, he's been lightning. When did I? When do I go again then? Well, I go uh, you, you go after Elio. Okay. He's been lightning. Mm-hmm. That's it, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I just rain terror down upon him, then straight downward. Zoom, zoom. All right. 
114. That's my highest. Let me double check my plus to hit. 14 plus hits him. Seven. For seven damage from above. Okay. Spoop. And I like the position I'm in, so I <coughs> stay. Good call. All right. I'm going to Reckless twice. Okay. With great, great weapons. weapons. Yep. Great weapons, Master. Now I'm getting pissed off. Like, fuck you, Bleepus. <sighs> 14. 14. That hits. That does not. Okay, so you hit him once. I need some new dice. But I have, what, plus... A lot. 14 to this. Okay. Do you have your plus one? Oh, plus 16. Right? No. Yeah, plus six. It's two plus rage, one plus for the weapon. So it's plus so. three. What's your shrink? Whatever your weapon says, plus. Plus, plus two. two. Yeah. So it's plus 16 on here. <coughs> okay. <coughs> Probably. So seven... Plus 23. 16 is 23. <laughs> Great weapon master. You hit one. 23. Sure. <laughs> That's like... <coughs> oh, yeah, using the hammer. I'm not used to the uh, hammer. Let's see. After Tamat is Temujin. Kneecap of these guys. Mm. Um, I'm going to peek. Just around this side, and then I'm going to give it the old Eldritch Blast. <laughs> Hi! Dark around, hide. Natural. Dude, player killer, such an amazing die. I told you. <laughs> is that the one you carved up? No, oh, this mine. is the this is his player killer. Oh, nice. It's working as an advantage right now. And then 12. <coughs> 20 hits. I'll tell you, that thing betrays me. Wow. So I just rolled max. And then, so 18 plus 5, 23. 23. Good God. Okay, splam. You just did a barbarian <laughs> hit with an Eldritch Blast. Splam. splam. It's like, blow. Blow a hole in its ribs. Yeah. Trying to deflate the. Is that your turn there, uh, X? Yep. Get my the gusto. Uh, I will use the Staff of Thunder and Lightning to poke it twice. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's just like, blam, lightning. Boom, boom. Uh, that is a 22 to hit. Yep. And a, uh, yeah, 14 to hit. Okay. Splam, splam. So that is a D6 plus 5. So, six damage for the first. Actually, wait. I'm using this two-handed? No, I have a shield. Never mind. So, one-handed. So, the other one is a seven damage. So, six and seven would be 13 total. Okay. <coughs> it's very upset at you. Uh, after me is Ab Abdur. Okay, so he runs back to here. And he is yelling, run, run! And he douses his sword. Okay. Uh, then it is back up at the top at the Catapolipus. Actually, he's going to run through. He's in a double move. So he's here. The Catapolipus does yes. not recharge its eyes. Thank God. Um, you attack, so Sanctuary is gone. Oh, right. I it's going to swing and bust you in the face. I haven't used it before, so you wouldn't know. You're reckless. You were reckless, so now it's reckless. He probably doesn't even notice. Yeah. Nope. So it's just like Krishmak. I saved you one damage. Give me a DC constitution or er, constitution saving throw. How much did it hit for? One, two, three, four, five. He has a plus armor, Josh. Yeah. Well, how much did it hit for? Oh, uh, twenty. Oh. oh, yeah. Right. <laughs> 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 Don't worry. It hits you, man. <laughs> what is it? Uh, what am I rolling? Uh, first, 8, 9, 10, uh, 3 is 13, plus 4 two. is 17, divided by 2 is 8. Take 8 damage, and you need to make a constitution saving throw. Mm, Fifteen. Not enough. 
You are stunned until the start of the Catobleepus next turn. Oh, that sucks my balls. Uh-huh. So it's just like, whoop, and swings the tail you. low, yeah, right sucks. in the front of that kilt. Skapow! And you're sucking wind for a round. He kilt slapped you with his bony tail. Oof. That sucks. So here's the question I'm trying to remember. Did I yeah. sell yeah. my scimitar or did I keep it? <coughs> what one? My double bladed scimitar. Do you remember? No. Nope. I don't remember. Do you guys remember if he sold his double bladed scimitar or not? I think I th- you may have. I don't think so. I think you kept it. I think you've offered it to trade once to uh, the guy, but he didn't want it. Okay. I don't remember. We could say that you still have it. Well, it just depends what I do next. <laughs> if you I shoot do, it. don't have it. You shoot it. <coughs> uh, let's see. Well, then I am going to, because it's my turn, right? Uh, yes. If I have my double blade of scimitar, I'm going to drop my bow down to the yep. ground because he said run. And I'm going to dive bomb scimitar blade this thing in the back. Can I do more damage if I do that? I mean, you could each take the D6 from your fall. Yeah, that's what I did. Yeah, but you're going to have to roll an acrobatics to actually hit it. You're going to aim yourself. I do that. Okay. For a 24. You do it. So you're just like scimitar blade first. You're like, squeeze, blaff. Fuck and yourself then, all up along with him. Well, can I land on my feet as I come down and take the damage? Uh, like jam my calves into the ground as I blade sure. off its back? Yeah, all right. You're going to take six <laughs> points of damage. It's also going to take six. It will also take six, which kills it. <laughs> Did you roll the hit? I haven't tried yet. He just aimed himself with acrobatics at it and basically... Oh, okay. Fucked himself all up and the kettle bleep us. You can roll the hit if you want to. <coughs> you dropped the elbow from... 23? Yeah, you hit it. Yeah, so he came down and was like, Spah! and broke one of his legs, basically. Oh, no, I just sprained my ankle. Sure, and fuck it all up. <laughs> Skablaff! Kettle bleep us down. Abner's screaming, run, run! If we are running, light a torch, and I grab my bow. As my <coughs> <move> action. <coughs> okay. You don't actually run, then. Not yet. Okay. Because he's double moving out of the woods over here, screaming run. Yeah, I'll follow up. Okay. So you go that way? Yeah. Directly away from where he went. Gotcha. He's... His sword's still on fire. No, he put it out. Okay. But if we're running, I say it doesn't matter. Because this guy can't see in the dark. Bummer. Uh, it'll just be like tripping over shit the whole way. He's got a higher movement speed though, so maybe you can be a little bit more careful in the front. I don't know how that works. I don't either. What are you thinking, dude? I might just hide and let them pass chasing you guys. That's the dumbest idea I've ever heard. Yes, let's do this. I run. Split the party. (laughs) Not just split the party. Assured death if you fail. (laughs) Are you ready to die? When the bleepuses were running in on us, how fast were they? Were they real fast? 30. They were faster than you. Mm -hmm. In this form. Really, I don't want to leave behind the tuber group, baby. <laughs> Are you serious? Just get rid of that thing. It's nothing but trouble. <coughs> yeah. <coughs> I'll get another one later. <laughs> Maybe. All right. Yeah, I run. Probably from... Okay. What's that fuck's name? So 25. Whatever that looks like. Something like that. Yeah. Do you double? Yep. Okay, so you're way out in front. <laughs> Wait, is nobody following me? Well, I mean, they Eli- are, are running, but... Yeah, we're gonna the turn was quick. Elio, then Tamat, then me... Or, no, then Temujin, then me. So, so we're doing in turn order, otherwise... If that was just... you. So, whatever, we'll break initiative. Yeah. Everybody just runs like fuck? Mm-hmm. Okay. How are you guys deal with the fact that Tamat can't see? <coughs> I said light a torch. I guess I'll light my ever-burning torch that Orin gave me. Okay. You don't have to like that. It's ever burning. Well, do you know what a zipper is like? It just kind of pulls the tear across reality. 
That's where we'll stop. We'll stop there. Is it stop time? Oh man, it is after 11 already. Yep. Hmm. There's three more? You're like, I'm so glad you made three of these. I mean, They're there's going to be more than three yeah, at some point. You're going to need to make more this week. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> I'm not making more. You have a flaming torch and you're running straight through their territory. So that's yeah. cool. Falling behind and hiding is probably actually my best bet. <laughs> Thanks for making it easy for me. Hmm. I don't know if it's going to matter much. <laughs> if they it's just just for the record, how fast could that little girl have run? About he as fast as you. <laughs> <laughs> he could carry her. Tamat could outrun the bleepus for a little while. Until he rages. <laughs> the best part <laughs> is... Trendies. I could make a cloak of <coughs> a, or a uh, thing that gives you dark vision. There you go. Yeah, I should have done that. Huh? Yep. Instead of the cloak of the manta, I figured that we were on the ri river, like. Can raft you imagine thing, so. trying to fight these things in the water? That'd be awesome. No, I not mean, for us. Tomat wouldn't have any but issues. It's good they're not super smart because if they were, they could just stand like fifteen feet away from the boat and just death meme the shit out of you guys until there was nothing left, and then climb on board and eat your soupy remains. But they're not super smart. I feel like they're kind of like hippos. Yeah. That's what they remind me of. Real aggressive. Terrifying <laughs> sort hippos. Of mean, yeah. Hippos with ranged attacks. Hippos with a, with a <laughs> death, death gaze. Yeah. Uh, it's so <laughs> awful. Like, it's insta death if you fail it for any of us. And it's not that you just go to zero, you, you die. die. If you go to zero from a Catalepus death gaze, that's it. You die. There's no And none of throws. us have the hit points that it deals out. You just die. It's 64 damage. Mm -hmm. Everybody's gotten pretty lucky so far. Mm -hmm. I was like, I'm going to die again. I know it. <laughs> that would be great. <laughs> it looked like it when you took that <laughs> double turn. Yeah, when he ran up and, like, thought your life up, I was like, smashed oops. You. I thought it was going to last longer, so I thought the sanctuary would have been the thing that saved you, but... Didn't even get a turn afterwards. No. I mean, they're not. I don't even know what happened. I was just sad. I was pouting in the corner. <laughs> they're not super, super tough, but they're like glass cannons. Like, they could kill somebody mm -hmm. in the opening round. Their opening salvo of the eye fuck was really horrible. The eye fuck. They're just like, sweep. Like, ah. Yeah, how many points do you guys have? No one has 64. 39. This guy has the most. 45. What do I have? He has 59. 39. They, you all you have to do is fail the saving three. You don't have to fail it by more than five, and they might mm -hmm. still kill you. Yeah. And if you're already damaged, it's, it's bad. still bad. Yeah. Yeah. I'm at 29 hit points right now. Yeah. yeah I'm at 50, and I put Sanctuary 55. on him, so <laughs> if he recharged his eye laser, that yeah. would have fucking killed him. That was at five. Yep. It was. Uh, I think it was 10. How many ten hit points do we have now? Points. We had five. We had five, but I didn't get any. I, I lost mine. Oh, no, I did use them because I jumped out of the damn tree. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yep. So, so you're just down a hit point. A hit point. Yeah, these things are horrible. Sweet. How long do those hit points last, the attempts? For uh, the rest? Until you rest, yeah, probably. Long rest, probably. Nice. I'll never do it again. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually <laughs> true. Although you have to yeah, long rest. Yeah, you do long rest. <coughs> you just don't do shit while you're hanging out. Yeah. Read your book of shadows or whatever. <laughs> I don't think I got one of those. <laughs> you do, right? You're a book lock, lock. Oh, you don't have that invocation. Uh, yeah, the book. Of, I don't have the book of shadows invocation. Technically, I'm a. You're a tome I, lock. I think, yeah. Without a tome. You should take that invocation at some point. What does yeah. it give you? You get some spells uh, and stuff. You get a bunch of spells and you can write any ritual spells in the book and later on cast them as long as you're holding the book without using spell slots. Why don't you have that? <coughs> What's his name? Oz hasn't handed any of that shit out. I mean, it's kind of up to you. <laughs> you gotta pick it. <laughs> yeah, you gotta pick it. <laughs> Why would you be a tome log without the tome? It's like being a fighter without a weapon. <laughs> no, it's not that bad. It's like being a fighter. It's like being a, a fighter sword. with a dagger. Yeah, it's like being yeah. a fighter with a finesse weapon. <laughs> yeah, it's that's I what mean, I am. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> but it's done right. But oh, if I did right it with now. a dagger, it'd be terrible. 
Yep. Sweet. Should I do shout outs then, Roses and Thorns? Yeah, yeah. let's do it. Mm-hmm. <sighs> what locations do you have? Three. So you have Agonizing Glass. Agonizing and the glass. No Sleep thing. The No Sleep thing. And the leftover druid one where All I can right. change into Yep. Animals. So for our followers, we also got Miss Steak. MS Steak. I like that. Miss Thorgan Steak. Ironside. And Nyman X, thank you all for your follows. We're here every Sunday morning at 7.30 a.m. I know it's early for some. It's early for us. future. Probably, yeah. I don't know if that'll ever change. It's probably good since we termed the name Breakfast Club. Why would we have to change that? (sighs) (laughs) Against all odds, we get together every week, almost Probably like, miss four a year uh, at the yeah. most. It's all right. You didn't like sleep anyways. I so. mean. Coffee lock. <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> Never sleeping again. <laughs> um, We can do roses and thorns. I guess I'll start since I'm already talking. <laughs> Let's see. Thorns. These two bastards are a pain in my ass. Temujin <laughs> and Tamat. What are you talking about? Tamatajin. Temujin. In game, you guys are just a pain in the ass. The tea club. <laughs> just tea like, party. this is our party and you're not invited. And I'm going to do everything in my power to make sure you remember that. <laughs> mm-hmm. I feel like Out of game, I think it's hilarious. Like, I, I don't like care. even in game. Temujin was coming around. He was definitely acknowledging your sacrifice. This time, you came around a little. And we came to an agreement to trick Tamat, which I felt pretty good about. Yeah. We almost pulled it off, too, but she woke up. (laughs) Yeah. And then she made the decision, which helped a lot. So, yeah, you guys are just a pain in my ass. And it's honestly because you get a new character. They're not integrated with the group yet. Even yet. This is, what, game three with him? Game four? Something like that. When did... Your character come out in our last game. Oh, not until freaking halfway yeah, through. Yeah, yeah. Like, like, mm-hmm. But even at the end of the game, it fe- you felt less connected then. Well, at the very end, when you both were gone and your new characters, oh, you horrible. did the same thing to him anyway. Yeah. <laughs> You're not part of You're our only new group. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you guys made your own new group. <laughs> well, because we both knew Art again. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that's my thorn. And like I said, out of game, it's fine. I like it. In game, you guys are jerks. <laughs> Rose, I kind of like jumping out of the tree and landing my uh, scythe into that creature, taking damage to each of us. That's definitely it. Felt Delrin ish. I kind of liked that. So I understand where you got that <laughs> feeling of like I can do anything. Yeah, where you're just like I'm a boss. I'm gonna jump, jump out, out of these trees. Well, like, you yes. jumped out of a sixty foot tower, but. I did. Hmm. Yeah, true. Ten feet, sixty feet. You like <coughs> fall down. You didn't have feather fall. That's probably my. Worst. I remember that battle. That was a good battle. Besides the game as a whole, I enjoyed. That's that's my shining combat moment. There were a lot of um, social moments that were fun. Go ahead, Matt. Um. Um. Okay. So, uh, as far as my thorn goes. And I, I get what you're saying, Ryan. I'm sorry I make it difficult on you. But I get the 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 one thing that like kind of ties me into the story, I guess. I feel like it. Like this little girl that I saw in a vision finally after like how many games. Something that kind of like connects me. And you guys just want to get rid of her. <laughs> Wait, you know, I'm we like want not to save her. Right. And I don't feel like, I guess I, it was just kind of like, if that's what it was for, it's like, oh, well, my vision wasn't that great. You know, like, I'm going to hold on to this for everything I got. I gave up my <laughs> overpowered did. weapon for her. You did f- hold on um, pretty hard. <laughs> yep. And I was going to hold on to it as long as I could. And I did. Um, so that's kind of why I was, it was, it was like, you know. You know, he had a vision and he said Saber and so well we'll just see what happens with it. 
She'll probably get eaten by the plant people. Well, you left her with the plant people. They're going <laughs> to eat her. They're going to eat her. Especially if Adner dies. Yeah, but if she was out here, she gets bleepest once and she's goner. Yeah, probably. The stare would not bring her back. <laughs> like She'd be like, roll your constitution save, little girl. Yeah, I'm done. Her. She would melt in half a second. She'd be like, ah, melt. And then where would you be? You'd be crying. Well, I wouldn't have let that happen. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can't really not happen it. Um, for Rose, I don't know. Kill and bleep, this is always a good time, I suppose. Nah, I'm going to say my rose is when Ryan almost went down. <laughs> you laughed and laughed and laughed. I'm glad that my misery brings you such joy. <laughs> Oh, you know you feed off the same stuff. <laughs> Wait till I'm DM again. Yeah. <coughs> It'll happen. Uh, let's see. I'll say my rose was probably that uh, none of us failed a saving throw against Catablepus. Uh Everyone's still alive. <laughs> God, it would have been yeah. so bad. Uh, there was a lot of ones rolled, and none of them were saving throws against the Catableep Asylum. I'm so surprised no one died. Yeah. Super surprised. Were you happy to kill someone? You were excited about it? <laughs> I'm always happy to kill someone, I'm going to be honest. <laughs> the option for going through the trolls was one of us. We had to roll a d4, and one of us is left behind. Well, and you guys asked after what he would do. He was like, I'd go through where the hungry are. Yeah, because he doesn't mind sacrificing one of us. Because he's hungry. Uh, well. As we've already <laughs> as we've already discovered, he's willing to sacrifice other lives. Yeah, he's a bad man. Ex exchange for payment. Uh, I'll say the thorn is probably uh, fighting things that uh, I know are going to be able to one shot because I'm trying to prepare for it. I'm like, uh, just tighten everything up. Tighten but, everything uh, up. <laughs> but then at the same time, uh, I also didn't get to use, uh, well, didn't get yeah. a, cha a good opportunity to use the new things I got, which uh, one of them is uh, I can uh, basically carve a wand after every long rest and I get to pick a new cantrip to put in it every rest. Wait, say that again? Uh, every time I rest, that uh, thing that I whittled, mm -hmm. uh, that was basically a wand of firebolt. Oh, nice. So every time I take a short or a long rest, <coughs> I should say, uh, every long rest, I can make a new wand for a cantrip, even one that I don't have. Any cantrip? Any cantrip I can learn. Okay, any cantrip you can learn. Yep. Okay. And Are I get a plus again? three. Al He's alchemist. Alchemist? Yeah. Is that what it is? No. Artillerist. Oh, Art artillerist. He's an artillerist, yeah. whatever they're called. What's the class? Uh, artificer. 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 There you go. Yeah. So uh, I, and I get my intelligence modifier added to the damage of it. Oh, that's cool. So, yeah, I got a uh, cool fire bolt Slash ability. Eldritch Blast is basically what it is. Well, it's not two fire bolts. It's 2d10 so, plus your intelligence modifier. Yeah. Sorry, instead of it's not a d10 a plus, plus and a d10 yeah. plus. Yeah, I got you. It's still more damage for me to poke him twice with a stick, I think. Uh, maybe. Because the I stick have... stick is a D... It's a plus two weapon, so I get plus five to it. A D6 plus five? Yep. Versus so six a to 11. D10, 2D10 plus three. Six to 11 and six to 11. So if you hit twice, it's 12 to 22. Ooh. Right? And mm -hmm. if you hit, it's a two to 24 with the fireball. Uh, or a six to 24? With the uh, staff, if I hit twice, uh, I do... You can only attack once with the fireball, though. Yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah. That's the issue. Right. Now, are you still using Unearthed, or are you going to convert to the official release? Uh, I'm we still using about it. Unearthed. I can look at the official release and see what that difference... It might be better to convert, because it's probably more balanced. Okay. And I would just, like... I don't even know what it looks like. Do we have it on Beyond? Uh, yeah, we do. Yeah, it's on Beyond, and so oh, is the official. Mm -hmm. The official um, Warforged race is different now too. Mm -hmm. So I bought the whole Eberron book. So okay. Yeah, I'd have to take a look. I want to read more of that book. It's a pretty good book. Mm. It's got some good lore. Yeah, I'll look into that. And there's no longer three different Warforged races. There's just like one kind of Warforged. Mm -hmm. <coughs> <coughs> 
I guess it's Brian. Oh, yep. yep. Um, so Thorn, I think right off the bat, we had that trade, and that felt like it was going to be something climactic, and it was just kind of, okay. And we, we swapped things around, so that was a little bit um, disappointing, I guess. It didn't have the payoff you were looking yeah. for? What were Which, you expecting? I'm not sure. But it ties in a little bit to this situation that we're ending on because it feels so hopeless right now that the stakes are all the way up there. And so we're either going to not survive or we're going to like deus ex machina. There's got to be like a cheat code to get out of this. <laughs> so uh, that feels a l- we're in, we're in a bad way right now. And so uh, it feels like it. I'm not sure what's gonna, how that's gonna pan out. So those are my thorns. For my rose, I, I, I think I might actually call that plant baby rose. Oh God! <laughs> she, she's a beautiful thing. The dead thing that you left under the blanket. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I think everything from the church. What's wrong with Tim? The, 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 the church and. And sawing through that girl's neck was a great description to save her. <laughs> I thought that was oh hilarious. <laughs> to, like, uh, save her life. Is yeah. that Temujin's rose or Brian's rose? No, this is Brian's. <laughs> 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 and, uh, and, yeah, being, being able to uh, yeah play with the little homunculus plant f- for a while. There's well, something wrong and there. And even, even that... That conversation that Adner and he had, something that I've been thinking about a lot, where, like, why is it okay that you can, you know, disembowel a fish and leave its corpse laying around? But if you did that for a cat, then things get real weird. If you do it with a person, then shit it is all dog, sort of, well, yeah. Which I, was kind of, I thought that was a hearkening to when you murdered that dog. Right? <laughs> yeah, and the kids. And the and kids. The, Oh, yeah. I that thought that's dog. what you were actually recalling. Like. That dog. I forgot which dog. You were I thought you were thinking back, way back to that old campaign. No, with this campaign when you murdered that dog and the kids, and then the kid right and after. Well, oh, yeah, five I mean, kids. That's what I'm saying. Like all these things, it gets weird when it's one thing, mm-hmm. but it's not weird when you do it to something else. Yeah, that was a cool conversation too, because his perspective is markedly different than yours. Yeah, like he's like, "That's a baby." Yeah, and you're like, that's a root thing. Fuck it up. And he's like, that's a baby. <laughs> you're like, no, little girl is infected. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of when we had a camping trip and these kids took a live fish, put it on a rock, and started smashing it with a rock. And the parents had to sit them down and go, no matter what, this is not cool. It's mm-hmm. it's kind of weird. It's weird. Yeah, don't yeah. don't do that. <laughs> yeah. we, we, don't, we don't. Whether it's a fish or not. Mm-hmm. But you could you could kill mosquitoes till the end of time. Yeah, those things suck. See? Kill every mosquito you see. <laughs> see, yeah, mm-hmm. which of them? Yeah, mm-hmm. it gets weird. Uh, I guess I draw <coughs> sooner the line, or later right? you have to draw the line. Like, unless like, you're Buddhist, I kind of figure it's the yeah. feeling behind it. You're not um, so yeah. You gotta fish after you catch it, but you don't put it on a rock and smash it to death. Unless you don't have a knife. I feel like <laughs> not, you're not going to eat it that way. Unless you're I hungry hope. in the woods and you have to. Golem. Yeah, if you're, if you're on <laughs> naked and afraid, you right. don't have a knife. You're like swinging to the you're rock like, until the head pops off yeah. and you munch and know it's left. Yeah, and then you squeeze it out like a burrito. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably the, the, the feeling behind what you're doing. I mean, like, I think Axe had a spot like that where he was kind of torn because, <coughs> like, <coughs> Oren went and started fighting guards, and he's like, they are fighting my friends. Yeah, Anytime, he was a dumbass. Don't, don't listen to that guy. Yeah. Anytime <laughs> anybody's <laughs> fighting and my friends are on one side, I'm on the other side. So therefore, he went in and started fucking, fucking stuff up. Cops. Yeah. Well, you got that guy in the Stormlight Archives who was pulling the legs off of the little creatures just mm-hmm. because it gave him pleasure. Yeah. It's like, they're just little creatures that no one cares about. Oh, but that's Kremlings? still a little fucked up. Because like, you know, there's yeah. something going on up here. Yeah, well, he was obviously fucked up. Yeah. Like, there was shit wrong with him. Mm-hmm. Oh, we didn't hear Josh's. Sorry. Um, man, I loved 
It's fucking you guys up horribly with the Catalibas. It's Catalibas are fun to run. So mm-hmm. we kept sending more. <laughs> Here's another. Well, Here's some right. more. Here's three more. You guys were making decisions that were kind of fucking you. Like I was like, hey, throw away the meat. Like dead things. I like dead things. And people didn't listen. So mostly Temujin. <laughs> <laughs> I got rid of almost everything. No. No. You kept the baby and some meat. You were clear about how you were keeping some meat. Yeah. But I did get rid of a lot of meat. Well, good for you. Tempting our fate with your terrible ideas. <coughs> like, at this point, have you <laughs> ditched the rest of the meat? You ditched the baby. Mm-hmm. Did you put the meat into the blanket, too, or no? Yeah, that was the whole point. Okay. I put the meat, the catablepus, and the baby. The catablepus jaw or something. Right. I put it all under the blanket. Because they were supposed to see that. But instead, they saw... Fuck stick with us. <laughs> yeah, after. <laughs> and they're like, oh, wait, this one. He like a four or something. They were like, fuck this guy. Mm-hmm. Yep. I think Temujin needs some friends so he can tell his terrible ideas to them and they can guide him to the correct yeah. <laughs> He'd be like, no, that's Instead a of keeping really them all in his bad head. idea. Mm-hmm. I mean, I had Glitch around for a while. Yeah, <laughs> that, well, that didn't end you. so well. That guy was also <laughs> bad for you. He was leading you into bad places. I thought you were going to die when you went with him, actually. I'm it's surprised kind of Oz isn't fingers. like, hey, you should probably not leave that. Or you should probably not leave that in your bag. I mean, most hey. of the time, Oz just watches what happens. Yeah, right. I suppose he's probably I having fun with it. I think he revels in the chaos. Yeah, yeah, he doesn't intervene a whole lot. Yeah, that it's makes like sense. the gods. Mm-hmm. Was that your rose or Thor? Uh, <laughs> kind of bleep is this. I don't know. That's good. <laughs> Both. <laughs> I liked fucking you guys with the kettle bleepus. I was sad that you kept all the shit in your bag and easily mm-hmm. led them to your party. <laughs> Both of those things. Didn't you leave a bunch of meat in your bag too? I can't remember. He what said he did. started eating it, but I don't know if he got through it all. Yeah, I guess we have to roll uh, a dice for that. There was the argument where he was going to throw away all your meat and you were like, no, no. But then oh, he started yeah. eating it. I ate a bunch of mine know. too. Yeah, you probably didn't get... If you're not going to toss any out of your bag under the ground, then you probably slept me, honey. You can't eat all the meat. <laughs> what are you rolling for? Make the decision. Don't you let fate decide. Counts. No, let, always let fate decide. <laughs> no. <laughs> did, 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 destiny is meat. destiny for a reason. Like when you roll the d20 to decide if we Well, if Temujin kept meat, I'm going to keep meat. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you don't know he kept it. <laughs> People That's are going to die. <laughs> I hope it's them. You don't gotta be fast. You just gotta be faster than your friends. <laughs> He's yeah. not the slowest one, though. Who is? You guys. Temujin. No, because you can turn into something quick. Okay. Oh. I, I, I turn into things. <laughs> so it's I got, you two. I got two hours right, worth of so speed. You, either <coughs> you or me, Metal Man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we've been ranting for a while. I'll go over a few more follows and we'll take off for the day. So we got Scott Smith, thank you for your follow, Solus, Lady Invictus, Destrubin, <laughs> and Ty Weeb, I think. Thank you all for your follows. Uh, we'll be here next Sunday. You guys have a great uh, holiday weekend. We'll see you next time. <laughs>